Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry again. Welcome to Project Zomboid. So it's a very fun zombie survival game. I'm still learning how to play it. It's a very in-depth survival game. Some people would even say that it's maybe one of the most complicated survival games out there. There are lots of things that you can do. There are lots of things that you can learn about it. And that's what I'm doing. I have barely over 10 hours in this game. So without any further ado, I guess let's start here a brand new world and let's experiment. Let's see how long I'll be able to survive here. Will I survive a day? Will it survive for a week? I have no idea. Let's go with the survivor difficulty. There's the apocalypse difficulty, but it's probably the most difficult difficulty. So let's go with the survivor difficulty. Uh, let's go with the Rosewood spawn point. I've heard that it's a nice uh, spawn point for beginners. Maybe all of them are probably all right. I'm going to go with the fire officer or maybe with burglar. That way, maybe I'll be able to start a car. There are lots of different debuffs and buffs that you can get. I'm still learning about that, so those things don't really matter to me that much, I guess. So let's probably not get anything. I'm going to learn about those buffs and debuffs a little bit later. Let's just get the burglar perk. Oh, when you get the burglar perk, I need to spend six points on something. Um... Maybe then let's not get the burglar. Maybe let's get the lumberjack. There we go. Let's get the lumberjack and let's begin. I have here my character already preloaded. Except I don't have any paints. Excuse me. Let's get some... Jeans. And we should be fine. Let's begin, ladies and gents. Get the smoker debuff. You get a lot of sigs in the game anyways. Maybe that was a good... Uh, maybe that's a good point. I'm going to learn more about those debuffs and other stuff a little bit later. Yo, Geek Explain. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. No one asks these days, so how are you, my guy? I'm good. I'm doing great. Hopefully, you're doing great as well. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. And now, we'll be learning about the story of how I died in Project Zomboid. So I have played a bit off camera. I think I've played... I wanted to make a video, so I ended up playing for two hours, but I don't think I'll release that video because I just died a couple of times. But I have learned some more things. So first of all, I'm going to probably close the curtains here just so that zombies don't come after me. And again, if the game is too loud or too quiet, let me know. I will add or reduce some volume. I guess. Dish towels, spoon. We don't need that. Canned food and other stuff. I think we can just grab all of it. I think. How do I grab everything like this? There we go. That's faster. I've also learned that. Do I need crackers? Maple syrup? I think I'll take everything. A baking pan. Kitchen tongs. An empty kettle. I don't think I need any of that. So, oven mittens. I don't think I can equip them. We have bananas and some lard. Can I just pop that? Okay, lard gives plus 30 unhappiness, so we're not going to eat that, but I will eat a banana. So let's try to pop this banana right now. Because that food can spoil, and whatever food that can spoil, we should pop it right now. Okay, can I open up this door? Perhaps something useful in the bathroom. Let's close this. And we can open the map. Okay, so that's where we spawned. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it doesn't matter anything. It doesn't matter to me that much because I don't know the map anyways. I know there are schools, police stations, uh, fire departments. I'm going to close this. And I'll close this. Hopefully I'll find some sort of a melee weapon. That'd be great. Uh, triple in life and living TV. Let's try to tune into this channel. Let's try to put the volume on the lowest and uh, some people are saying that around like 12 or something you can find some sort of a channel you can get some skills i don't really know what any of those skills do anyways so that stuff doesn't really matter much to me okay so some sort of a window just broke outside that's not cool at all do you know much about the skills uh, not really I mean, I barely have 10 hours in the game. Like, my goal is to kind of at least survive for as long as I can, and those skills and other things will come in handy. Look at this. We've already gotten a revolver. <laughs> Plus some ammunition. You got to be kidding me. Well, I'm also going to probably get that pencil. I can't believe that we've gotten the revolver already. Let's try to equip it as primary. But it is going to make a lot of noise. 
So should I use it? Let's try to equip it as primary, at least for now. And how many bullets do I have? Okay, my character is loading that stuff up. Okay, so then we'll be able to shoot these zombies. We'll be able to shoot through these windows if we wanted to. Okay, cool. Except... I don't need this revolver yet. Let's try to... Unequip it. Because I do not want to make too much noise. I don't want to shoot any zombies here yet. Headphones, pencils, crossword magazines. Okay, that stuff might be useful later if I ever get bored or something. Perhaps, perhaps. Do what you do, IRL. Just stay in one place. I want to leave this house. Would be cool to get some sort of a... A weapon. It's very difficult to get a nice melee weapon. That's what I found. Anything useful here? Electric wires, flip-flops. Maybe that saw is useful to dismantle things. Can I dismantle something? I know that it's important to dismantle things. Okay, so I don't have a hammer or ball uh, or other things. So once I get those things, once I get the bullpen hammer or whatever, I'll be able to do things. I'll be able to dismantle stuff. Belt. I already have one belt. I don't think I need another one. Maybe I can... Once I get scissors, I think I can get leather pieces with belts, correct? Maybe. Red electric guitar, I think it's a nice weapon. Let's equip it... ...as primary. So there we go, I should be able to... ...to swing with this guitar. Is it any good? It is very slow though, I don't know if I like it. I like the attention to detail, but also the simplicity of the game. Says Douglas. Yes. Indeed. Uh, I'm gonna cut down small things, whatever, into... Into... Uh, clothing, right? I'm gonna get ripped sheets. And those ripped sheets are gonna be useful for me to patch up my wounds later on. Hopefully I don't get bit too much, and if I get bit, I will probably respawn with another character because I also learned that if you die in this world, you can respawn and you can pick up the loot from yourself if you kill your own body. So that's what we'll try to do. A razor, toothpaste, thanks, no. Painkillers might be cool, a sewing kit might be alright. Bath towel is kinda useless. You cannot patch up your wounds with towels. And I think that's it. We've looted this two-story building. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Besides just going outside. Uh, farming volume one. I don't know if I want it. Maybe. But I mean, volume one books are pretty good. I'm gonna just drink some water while I'm here. What this game is about, it's about survival. I'm gonna get that book. Is it ex It is kind of heavy. It's 0 0.8, so I'm not getting it yet. Yeah, I want to use this guitar. Guys, is the guitar fine? Would like to see you use the revolver because when Sarek suffers, the audience is happy. Okay. Is this guitar any good? It is kind of slow, though. My character is walking backwards very slowly. Can you speed that up? I don't think so. I think I've seen people walk faster backwards, but... It's as fast as I go. Maybe the guitar is going to be fine. You can even equip the guitar in both hands, but what does it do? I've never tried that before. Let's try to equip this guitar in both hands. Uh, it didn't do anything, actually. Whatever, I'm going to go outside. Okay, two cars, and I don't see any... I think I saw a zombie. One zombie's coming after me already. I'm gonna get it, ladies and gents. Let's try to get our first zombie. Could have probably smashed it. There we go, ladies and gents. That's our first kill. <laughs> that is our first kill. We did it. Both hands make you hit faster. Um, what if I unequip it then? And what if I equip it in my both hands? I don't know. Doesn't really feel like I can hit it faster, but alright. 
So I didn't find any good melee weapons. How about I hob the fence? And how about I loot this building? Okay, the door is locked. That's not cool. Okay, we can vault through the window. Let's close this window. And the TV's and the radios. Let's try to turn off the radio. Not really sure if it attracts those zombies, but I do not like the TVs. Let's just turn that stuff uh, stuff off. Okay, so we got our first skill, ladies and gents. You're still alive. And that's all what matters. The other window is broken. Yep. But there were some... Uh, whatever they're called. Glass shards. I wouldn't have been able to crawl through the window without damaging myself. There's something useful, perhaps. A frying pan. Is frying pan better than the guitar? How do, do I check this? Okay, damage this much. And what about my guitar? Okay, it does more damage than the frying pan. Should I take it? I have no idea. Whatever. I'm going to get the frying pan as a weapon just for later. I'm going to get the can opener. Is it heavy? It's, it is a little bit heavy. I'm going to get some beans. And I'm probably going to be a bit over encumbered. Okay, that's it. I shouldn't probably be taking more things. Empty mug. Some more drinks. Red wine. I'm going to get that as well, perhaps. Yeah, I am over encumbered right now. Some crackers. Mac and cheese. I can eat some stuff from the fridge. Why can't I eat these grapes? Oh, there we go. I've just eaten these grapes. Is this game worth to play? Very worth it. I don't know what's uh, what it means to be worth it, but <laughs> I like it. So it is worth it to me. Let's get the bottle of water. And we have 16 out of 16 encumbrance now. Even more, so I should drop something. The revolver is kind of heavy. The frying pan is heavy. Maybe let's drop the frying pan. There we go. I'm not that encumbered anymore. Let's go to the second floor, homies. Hopefully we'll find something useful there. Is it too... Too quiet? Is the game too quiet or can you hear the music? Because I think the music in this game is amazing. When I played it for the first time many years ago, I didn't really pay attention uh, too much to the music, but the music here is actually very, very good. I think... Umbrella is fine. The umbrella might be better than the guitar. It doesn't have a lot of... Durability though, but I think I can get the umbrella. I think I've heard that you can use umbrellas. There we go. Let's equip the umbrella in both hands. And you can use the umbrella as a weapon. Let's equip the guitar. Canned beef. Maybe let's just drop canned beef on the ground. And canned uh, fruits. Look at that something. Let's loot over here. Nothing useful. It is kind of too quiet. Okay, so maybe let's just add a little, little, little bit of volume. I do know that sometimes it gets very loud, though. Like, very loud. So it's easy for it to be too loud. Anything useful in the sink? Bath towels, toothbrushes, and a mirror, and that's it. There's nothing else here. Interesting. Yo, Skyfloat, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream, Skyfloat. Hello, hello. Hopefully you're having a great day. Welcome, welcome. We can loot the body of the Zom Zom for a watch. I should have done that, yes. Absolutely, I should have gotten the watch from the zombie that I killed and a gun case. So I didn't know that you can equip the gun case. And now you can loot the gun case. We have another revolver here. So, what if I just drop my other revolver? First of all, I'm gonna unload the revolver that I have here. Are you gonna play Smash Zombie with that guitar? Absolutely. We're gonna destroy that zombie. Where's the revolver? Let's drop it on the ground. Okay. 
Okay, so carrying this gun case isn't... Smart. I'm just gonna get the ammunition from the gun case and then I'm gonna unequip this gun case. Can I disassemble? No, I cannot disassemble this weapon. Unless you have to take it out and then you can disassemble it. I'm not sure. Close the curtains of the windows. The zombies can see you. I guess it's on the second floor. Can they still see me on the second floor? Well, I'm going to close it. There we go. Now they can't see me. They can no longer see me. Yeah, I cannot disassemble the revolver. Okay. Now let's equip this guitar in both hands. I'm going to drop the gun case. I don't need it. And now let's loot the floor. And let's get the revolver that I had. And some ammunition. And once again, we are over encumbered. Um, canned carrots, we don't eat that stuff. Canned pineapple. Still over encumbered. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's drop something like canned beans. There we go, that's a bit better. And I think we're done looting this house. If you get scratched, you have a 6% chance of becoming a zombie. I think it's 7%, but yes. That is true. So I'll try my best to not get scratched or damaged by these zombies. The keyword is, I'll do my best. Have I looted this thing as well? Yes, I have. So that's it, ladies and gents. We have looted this house. Let's go outside. I don't see any zombies here. What we could do is open up the map. And uh, we could mark that I've looted both of these houses. This house and this house has been looted. Sweet. I do know that around here, in this place, like you have to go somewhere to a fire department or to a police station to get a better weapon. Okay, the garage door is locked, so how do I enter it? So this garage is completely locked and I cannot open the door. Okay, I'm probably making too much noise. Okay, I just heard the wolfos. I still struggle a lot with luring zombies to another side or something. So if zombies see me, if I have a horde of zombies chasing me, I will get in trouble. I shouldn't have went to that tree. I think I damaged myself just a bit. I think we have another... Okay, we have a couple of zombies, ladies and gents. We should be able to deal with them. I should be able to deal with them. No, how? Why? Did I get scratched already? Bleeding, bitten. That's it. What? What is going on? How did that happen? I practiced off camera. Stupid guitar. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I practiced off camera. It's fine. We'll come back here. And I'll get the loot from this guy. It doesn't matter. The guitar is stupid. I blame the guitar, ladies and gents. I blame the guitar. And I just died because I was bitten, probably. Okay, so let's start another character. Survive for six hours and kill one zombie. Press Q for a surprise. I'm pretty sure the character will yell. Let's start a new character. Let's spawn once again here. Uh, this. And let's... Begin. Okay, where do I start? Let's open the map. So we started here, so I can just get back there and kill myself and uh, kill my old self. And I'll be able to get the loot. Alright, interesting. Do I have to eat all of this butter? It's a lot of calories. Okay, let's not eat it because that will make us unhappy. Bite in the head is critical. It's died, ladies and gentlemen. Survived for like how long? Six minutes, it said? Disappointed. It's completely disappointed. In any case, you live, you learn. Should have been more careful. 
Definitely should have been more careful. Cooking volume one. I don't need that right now. Um, let's see how long I'll survive this time with this character. Eraser matches. Matches might be cool. I'm not sure. A sheet of paper, books, pens. I think I already have one pen. You have a kitchen knife. Yeah, I have it now. Equipped it with me. Yeah, I've equipped the kitchen knife. A flashlight might be cool. Performance muffler. It is kind of heavy, so I'm not going to get it. Is the wrench better than the knife that I have here? Damage and the wrench. Okay, it's, they're both the same. I have no idea how I died there. They were not supposed to bite me. Well, we're gonna practice, ladies and gentlemen. To sharpen the knife, press Q. Nah. I know you can whisper. You can crouch and whisper, and then you can attract the zombies. Okay, zombies are coming into this building. How? Why? What did I do to deserve that? Let's quickly loot this thing. At least we've already gotten a knife, so I'll be able to do something about that. Zombie. Uh, pants. Let's try to rip these pants into clothing. this thing there's no way I've looted this closed umbrella is kind of cool though uh, let's get that umbrella and I have one more house to loot and I think the zombies inside of the building so I got to be careful the music's very happy and all but the zombies here already I'm pretty sure about that How did it, where did it come in? Oh, it came, it came in through here. I see the broken window. Okay, I don't know. Did it come in here? Did it leave? Did it go somewhere in the house, in the building? Quite interesting. A metal sheet. I don't think I need that. Let's quickly check. Wait, have I already looted the kitchen? Let's get cereal, dry ramen noodles. Mac and cheese and taco shell fresh. Let's pop it right now. Craved for some tacos. An oven and a carving fork. I don't think that carving fork is useful. Come ready to go outside, ladies and gents. Take number one. Okay, the garage is locked. How does one open up the garage? Okay, I think that zombie's coming after me, isn't he? Yep, the zombie has seen me. It's coming after me. Okay, take number two, ladies and gents. Let's see. How long will it take me... Until I die <laughs> again? Alright, you gotta walk backwards. You stab it. Or you can... Push it. And as soon as it's on the ground, you can... Stomp the head. And now we can get this classic watch. 7.30, nice. Thanks, zombie. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've killed one zombie. Last time I've also killed one zombie. Okay, I don't see what's going on. I don't see the other zombie either. Okay, there's one more zombie here. I shouldn't be killing all of them, I guess. Okay, more zombies are coming. No, 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 idiot. Donut. Okay. When I push them, I shouldn't work towards them. That's what I do. Sometimes I walk forwards and that's stupid. That is very stupid. Like here, like right now. That was very stupid for me to walk forwards. I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, let's kill it. Okay. Definitely swung a bit too early. Okay, how about I loop around? There's a zombie behind me. Do 
we have more zombies. Okay, I only have three zombies. Shouldn't be that bad. Last famous words. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still alive. I shouldn't go there too far. Still three more zombies! I'll get him. If I only had a better melee weapon. Okay, that thing is broken. I need to go into my inventory. I need to equip that umbrella. Is it any good though? I don't know. Okay, it is very slow though. Okay, let's go this way. No, you see what's going on? What happened? Again, okay, I'm just scratched and bleeding. That's not that bad. It's just a scratch. We have 7% chance of dying. That's fine. Maybe that we're not... We won't die. Let's hope that's... Dude. Don't get it. Oh lord, look at this! How on earth did they come here? Climb the fence. We can climb the fence, but I want to learn how to fight. I can't always run. I have a... an umbrella. Wait, my umbrella broke? Yeah, my umbrella just broke. Well... It. There's no way I'll be able to kill that many zombies without an umbrella. So an Irish box. More zombies on this side. More zombies here now. Sick. By sick, I mean not sick at all. And what do you do in these situations? That's it. Like, that's the... That's the problem that I have. Now I'll lure a lot of zombies, obviously. I, I have, like, a, an insane amount of... Schmucks coming after me. They're crawling after me. And I do not have a single melee weapon anymore. Like, that's it. I have nothing. How are you supposed to deal with these guys? quite parched. That's not cool. Okay, I'm gonna lure them into one loop. Into one spot and then I'll try to get out of here. Perhaps. Zombies here. Can I climb over this fence? I never tried doing it. I mean, it is kind of a sharp fence. found keys on the ground. Nox Distillery. So I can start the van? Are you kidding me? Okay, some zombies are coming after me though. Let's try to loop them around this building and then maybe I'll be able to start the car. The amount of zombies that are chasing us is insane. Drive that. Yeah, I'll try to drive that. Okay, we can walk around the building. Get more zombies here. As long as I don't sprint too much, everything should be fine. That way I won't lose too much stamina. Yep, more th those zombies are still after me. Yikes. Yikes. 
Everything is yikes. I know it's also possible to burn them on a campfire. Okay, how many zombies do we have behind us? A tiny horde. <laughs> Just a tiny horde. Alright, I'll try to gather them. And then I'll do one more loop. And then I'll try to get into the car. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the zombie almost got me. Got more zombies here. Didn't mean to scream that loud. I get into the car now. Uh, I can't. These zombies saw me. How? <sighs> I did lose that other horde, though. I think so. I'm not sure where they are now. I think these zombies saw me, maybe. Time to load into another character. No, it's not time. I'm not giving up. I've killed six zombies with no weapons or something. I'm somewhat of a professional. Okay, let's sprint. Which isn't very smart. How do I enter the car? I have the key. Oh, we have no fuel. No. No fuel in the car. So I cannot take it. Okay, that was a silly thing to do. You can just loot them over the fence or through the woods. Probably. I mean, I'm still alive. That's cool. Okay, we have a couple of zombies here and there's the fence. So let's now hop into this thing. Wait, there are police cars. Does that mean there's a police station here? Maybe we'll find some police zombies. Also, I need to do something about my dirty bandage because it might get infected. All right, how about I climb over the fence? Sayonara, schmucks. Is that the police station? That must be the police station. Yes, this is the police station. So it's over here then on the map. Where am I? Okay, so I need to remember that this blue thing is the police station. I'd like to loot it, but I have no weapons. Okay, zombies aren't coming from there. No, here. Okay, let's loot this way. Let's loot that way. And let's see if I have any weapons whatsoever. I do have a wrench. So let's equip the wrench. I'm gonna get rid of the kitchen knife and the umbrella that broke. Uh, that is something. Can I open the window? Of course not. Why would I be able to open this window? I think those zombies saw me though. Oh, they did not. 
was able to open the door, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing something. It's like, keep the noise down, there's zombies. Guys, don't worry about it. Why can't I loot these things? Maybe there's nothing to loot here. Shows everything on the ground, but I do not see these things. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm also thirsty. Wait, do I have a bottle of water? I think I took one. Or unless it was on my other character. Yep, I don't have any water. I need the password. Like, are you kidding me? What's the point? Um, I can't see the things for some reason. How do I find the thing? Opposite the police station is a fire station. Alrighty. That's cool, but how do I open the door? Armory needs a key. I didn't even know that that's the armory. So there's no way I'll be able to find a key. I know that there's this thing. We can enable the search mode, but I don't think I'll find anything useful with the search mode. We can disassemble the floor. Wait, what? Unlock the door, disassemble door. We need a screwdriver and uh, stone hammers and other things, which I don't have. <sighs> okay, so now I'll need to do something. It's kind of getting late, so I'll have to sleep soon. Do I just sleep here? Through the night? Do I have more sheets? Yeah, I do have more ripped sheets. So let's try to remove this dirty bandage. Uh, let's try to add some ripped sheets on this thing. Hopefully we don't get infected from that scratch. And even if it does get infected, it doesn't mean that we are infected infected. You have to get like... Uh, nausea and other stuff. Let's try to eat some chips. They remove a little bit of hunger. Mac and cheese, they'll remove even more hunger. I know, rush the fire station. I mean, I can go to the fire station, but what will happen? I don't know what to do. It's dark outside now. I kind of want to sleep. Should I sleep through the night? Or should I go outside? There's another window. If I break it, will it ring here? Will it attract more zombies? Okay. Um. Okay, maybe I should smash the window. Where did you spawn? In Rosewood? Smash the window. Remove broken glass. Not sure if that was a good idea, but I did it. There is a cop. A police zombie. Let's go, baby. I'm ready to deal with it. Okay, I got it, ladies and gentlemen. That might be a donut, right? And seasoned donut. Right, okay, get away from me. Get away from me. Okay, then these zombies are gonna start coming through. Wait, are there more zombies outside, though? I think those are the only two zombies. That are coming after me. I don't want to go that way. I haven't explored anything from behind. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, nothing here yet. At least I have the wrench. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Oh my god, Sayak, you're amazing. You're so good. I wish I was as good as you at this game. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your motivation, for your encouragement. Thanks for the encouragement. It's epic. Check the bodies for the room key. I'll do my best. <sighs> I'm thirsty, though. I need to drink something. Okay, this dude might have dropped something. We've gotten a pistol, ladies and gentlemen. Pistola is always good, I guess. Let's grab that pistola. Let's get the holster. Can I wear it? Let's wear the holster. Police pants. The watch. I think we can get the watch and disassemble them and get things with it. I can wear the watch. Let's put it in the left wrist. There we go. That way it's better. I uh, can... Perhaps rip clothing. Perhaps we'll get something from it. I do hear more zombies, though. There, there's some water. Okay. Can I please select the water container thing? Hello, what happened? Water dispenser. Drink. I could just drink the water. Drink more water and let's try to wash myself. Let's try to wash the face. I'm not sure if that does anything. But uh, here I am. I washed my mug. Nothing in the microwave. Another holster. Can I put a weapon in that holster? Wait, didn't I equip the holster? Didn't I did. I have this holster right now, but what's the point? Can I store something in it? Oh no, there's a zombie. No. It'll aggro everybody here. Box of paper clips. Matches. Magazine. Maybe sleep and skip the night. We should, but there's a zombie coming from the outside now here. So I'm gonna go and try to deal with that dude. I'm gonna get the lighter though. And hey, let's deal with the zombie first. Got another zombie. I might be stupid, but I ain't no idiot. A holster. Drag the pistol to the holster slot middle below your screen. Oh, I drag it there. I thought I'll have the holster here in the menu. Okay, I see. Okay, I don't think I see any zombies though. Let's get that pistol and let's drag it to the holster slot. There we go. Now I have the pistol. So I can grab the pistol. How many bullets do I have? Let's load that up. How do you see how many bullets you have here? You don't? Apparently you don't. Okay, let's equip the wrench. I can attach it to the left belt side. Ooh, there we go. Professional. Thanks, guys, for the tips and tricks. Very cool. Bro, watch this face at the speed of light. Yep, I did speed up the time to watch the face. I need to learn more about when and how to speed up the time properly in good times. At good times, but we'll see. M19, what bullets does it use? Uh, it uses... It doesn't say which ones. I have no idea. Don't have a slightest clue what bullets it uses. So my character will be tired soon, so should I sleep somewhere? Where do I sleep, though? Okay, there's a zombie here. But it's locked permanently, I guess? There's no way I'll be able to open up this door, right? Yeah, this dude is locked permanently there. There's nothing I can do about that. You should go to the stores and loot other buildings like... Uh, just looking for loot in houses isn't really gonna work. 
I mean, probably houses have some basic loot. Stores have other loot, but this police station is gonna have some insane loot. And I'm sure there are still lots of things for us to loot. Except it is very dark here. How about I turn on the light? Oh, there we go. That's a lot of zombies. Okay, they're gonna... Run, 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 run! Okay. I just wanted to close the door. Okay, let's try to clean the police station. They shouldn't come here, right? Because they don't know that I'm in this room. Or do they now? No, they probably don't know me. Fanny pack, that thing is good. Let's try to equip it. Let's try to wear it on the front. There we go. I can carry more loot. The lunch bag might be great. There might be food in the lunch bag. Police trooper shirt. Is it any good? I'll try to wear it. What about this dirty bandage? Let's quickly get another one. Police bulletproof vest. Let's wear it. I think that is huge. Uh, motorcycle helmet. That thing is huge as well. Let's get the helmet. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're, we're doing something. Duffel bag is cool. Equip on the back. Let's equip the duffel bag. That thing is great. Okay, so we did get some insane gear here. Oh, I haven't looted this side yet. Okay, there's nothing. It's just a shower. You can soak the rib sheets to get sterilized bandage. That is true. You can boil bandages, but at the same time, I'm not really sure if that's worth it. They just probably last longer and that's it. Uh, how much ammo? Okay, so we have six bullets. Formal shirt, bloody. Okay, let's just drop the shirt on the ground. And these dirty rags. Perhaps I'll wash them one day, doesn't matter. Okay, toilet. Toilet number uno, tom toilet number dos. So, so there are zombies on the other side there. Okay, it probably saw me. When this game was released a while ago. It does get updates. Like, there has to be build 42. People are excited for the build 42. Whatever that's supposed to be. I mean, a few years ago, they've gotten build 41. And that's the build that we are playing right now. I have the launch bag. Equip secondary. And let's try to see what we have in the lunch bag. The donut. Let's eat that donut before I die. Alright, I think I chucked that donut. Let's try to drop the lunch bag on the ground. I don't think I, lo I no longer need it. When are you going to play Project Zomboid? I don't know. Perhaps one day. How do you open the door without... I panicked there for a second. Alright, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Stomp the head! Why am I clicking these things? There we go, that's all I had to do. Stump the head boxers, another watch, clip on tie, suit, jacket, and other things, okay. Nice dodge. Yeah, that was totally planned, thanks. 
I'm good at dodging, thank you. I practiced. Okay, there's a zombie there. Maybe I should deal with it. There's only one schmuck here. What do you have? Briefs? Police shirt? Shoes? Police deputy jacket? I already kind of have one, so we don't need another one. I guess. Anything useful here? I'm still surprised I'm alive. Another lunch box. Okay, maybe we'll find some loot. A police shirt. Glasses. Police shirt. I could probably equip it. Wear it instead of the... Oh, that's the trooper shirt. Okay, I already have the shirts. Okay, it doesn't matter then. I'm not wearing anything. There can be zombies in the toilets, I believe. Haven't found one. Is it worth it to loot these toilets? Don't think so. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Okay, there was one more zombie here. Okay, then I'm gonna open this door up. Don't have to rush things. I say that one well, like, let's just try to rush things. That dude is dead. Let's try to close the door. Let's see if that zombie dropped us anything useful. A key. A security key. Is that good? Bad? I've gotten a key, ladies and gents. I have a security key. Except it didn't go in my key ring for some reason. Can I grab it on the key ring? There we go. Now it's here. Close all the doors here. Can I open up the door with this key? I'm sure there's another zombie there in that door, so that's pretty bad. I'm getting cornered. Can I open up this door with this key though? Yes, I can. There we go. Let's try to close the door. So, ladies and gents, that's it. That was the key. We've got an... Police deputy jacket. By defense. So wait, is this jacket better than the current one that I have? I do not have a jacket probably at all. Well, I've gotten some sort of a jacket. That's cool. I think we're getting some sick loot. Let's get some 9 mil bullets. We are surviving, ladies and gents. I'm feeling a little bit drowsy, so I could sleep. Should I sleep in this room? Because there's no way zombies will get here, right? They're not going to break this door. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome. We've got an insane amount of guns, ladies and gentlemen, scopes, everything, except I am tired and it's a nice place to sleep, so maybe I should sleep. Box of ammunitions, other stuff, staplers, ladies and gentlemen, finally we found a stapler. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Transfer some loot to bags, we should definitely do this, but should I sleep now? I think I should sleep. Like, and then we can start looting. I am thirsty, though. That's some good loot, probably, but hey, let's sleep. The zombies won't get here, right? I can sleep peacefully. Correct? Correct. With a fresh mind, I'm gonna remove the bandage and I'll get another one so that I can sleep through the night with a clean one. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we're not infected! We're not infected! <laughs> let's rest! I can't sleep here, though. There is no chair here. I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep in this room. Okay. I won't be able to sleep here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to sleep, ladies and gents. Unless there is a way to sleep on the ground, I just don't know how. Let's get this M9 magazine. I'll get everything, the rifle. The M9 pistol, everything goes in the bag. The scope. That's cool. I didn't mean to scream! Oh my goodness. Did they hear me? 
How many times have people clicked Q on accent? Maybe I should remap the key from Q to something else. Because that'll be the death of me. Okay, more M9 magazines. I don't think I should then take everything mindlessly. Maybe unbind Q button. Yeah, I should probably unbind that Q button because it's ridiculous. I'm going to click it again. I'm almost sure about it. Box of shotgun ammunition. Let's get some shotgun ammo. Let's get the shotgun. Uh, let's equip it. I don't know where to even equip it. It's another M9 magazine. Dude, we have more rifles. M14 rifle. I think I already have one. Can I get the bullets though? What's the use of the scream anyway? It attracts the zombies. Fiberglass stock. Okay, I cannot store anything else in the backpack because it's uh, too heavy then, apparently. How do I attach things to the shotgun? I'm gonna drop the shotgun on the ground. Pick M14. What do I get instead of... Instead of the M14. I think I have uh, M788. I got too many guns. I don't know what to do with them. I'm gonna get the stock. Okay, what do we have on the ground? These things. Can I combine them? Equip in both hands. Attach on the back. Can I attach the fiberglass? Uh, fiberglass stock. How do I do it? Attach on the back. So wait, that's... I'll put that thing on my back. Yeah, I have that gun on the back now. That's great. But how do I attach the shotgun stock? screwdriver to attach stuff. Oh, thanks. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Now I know. Uh, then I won't bother that much. Okay, let's attach the shotgun on the back. Let's get it. Let's load it up. Apparently, it's already loaded up. I'm hungry, tired, over encumbered. Everything's bad. Shotgun zero shells. Okay, so I do not have shells here because they're in the duffel bag, of course. Let's put them in my... Uh, box. Whoops. I still cannot load that up. What, I need to take out the shells from my things? Or have I already loaded it up? Open. Okay, let's open up one of those things. I see. And now I can load it up. We have a lot of bullets, so that means I can start blasting the guns. Correct? Because it feels like we have a lot of shotgun shells. I'll unbox the rest of the shotgun ammunition. Whoops. Let's unbox all of it. What do you mean I can't blast shotgun shells? I have 89 bullets. What am I gonna do with these bullets? Do I even need this fiberglass stock on the shotgun? Probably. Let's grab it. Let's get rid of this rifle. You guys told me that it's useless. The more you shoot, the more zombies will come. That is true. That was the point of the guns. They gave me guns, they want me to use them. Okay, let's drop one, because I have two fiberglass stocks. Okay, that's one. One is enough. I have M9 magazines. I can get a pistol instead of this other pistol that I have here. Probably. Why is everything like this? 
M9s are overrated here. Okay. But I think the M9 is going to be better than whatever I have now equipped. Let's get more 9 mil rounds. Let's get some magazines. Let's get rid of the M1911. How do I remove the magazine? Insert magazine. Okay, so it doesn't even have a magazine then, maybe. Probably doesn't. Okay, so let's drop it. And let's insert five bullets in the magazine. Let's unload the M1911 magazine. I have three magazines here. And I no longer have any more bullets. Oh, I have to obviously unbox all of the 9 mil ammunition. If I open it, does it weigh more? I guess it does weigh more. It shows that I have three magazines, but in which magazine am I inserting these bullets? Confusion is real, ladies and gentlemen. Confusion is completely real. Let's get that M9 pistol. up. I guess we've done something good. Maybe. I still have three magazines. Let's try to insert 15 bullets into this magazine. It's not worth it to take those weapons. The only thing you need is a shotgun. Okay, so I've gotten a shotgun and a pistol then. At least let me keep the pistol. I'm not going to get those other ones then. But at least I'll get the pistol. Maybe I agree I don't need like this magazine and the scope. I mean the scope isn't that heavy. And whatever bullets I have here, they're not that heavy. So I've only gotten the pistol and that's it. I didn't get anything else. I have the shotgun and the pistol. I didn't get anything else. Yeah, that's it. Another M9. And we can dip out of here. But obviously that'll attract more zombies and I can't sleep. Can I sleep on the table? Nope. Very tired, moist, thirsty. Oh lord. Let's try to eat all the cereal. What else could I eat? Dry ramen noodles. Okay, and happiness plus 20. What are you talking about? I would pop dry ramen noodles right now and I'd be happy with it. Okay, the dude is very... Very tired. Uh, awareness severely reduced. And I'm bored and I'm moist and I'm thirsty. How do I... And what do I do? Still banging on that door for a long, long time. You missed the M14, I think. I didn't get all the guns. Okay, let's not get bit now. I want to use the pistol. Okay, that was a bad idea, perhaps. Just like that, I probably aggroed 66 zombies. Okay. When do you shoot? When they're green? 
Stop it. Okay, let's close it. Let's up in. They won't see anything. Got the shotty and I'll use it. I've never used it. Aren't there any more bullets? I don't think so. I think we've gotten all the bullets. There's nothing else left here. So zombies are coming through this thing. Can I shoot the zombie through the window? Apparently not really. Okay, let's stomp the head. I think it's loaded up. Everything's fine. Stand still to get more accurate. Oh, okay, thanks. Makes sense. zombies. Let's try to clean out this place. I mean, we should kill all the zombies here because there's water. I could go in the toilet and get water there. Schmuck. At least I have a wrench. Something stomp that stupid head. It's empty anyways. Do it. There we go. Should have load up the shoddy. <laughs> We're doing it. We're surviving. And I'm not bit yet. That's my new record, ladies and gentlemen. That is my new record. Okay, there's one zombie though, I think. I can get this dude with just a wrench. Whoops. Okay, maybe not just a wrench. I did shoot another zombie behind me. That was kind of cool. I didn't aim for that one. I'm out of bullets. Whoa! I did load up my shotgun though, didn't I? Okay, that's... Whatever's happening here right now is not good. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever's happening here right now... Dude, the gun accuracy is so bad. I'm dead. I'm dead! I'm legit dead! Actually, no worries, ladies and gents. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We practiced. We did not practice at all. No! Donut. <laughs> I did hurt myself, though, a bit. How do I leave this place? How do I... Oh, we are in the prison now. Wow. I did get white scratched. I should have used these rib sheets. I did scratch myself by falling, probably. The zombies did not touch me, did they? I don't think so. Oh, that's it. We came here. That's the, the very beginning. Cool. What happened to my shotgun shells though? Why I cannot use the shotgun? Did it jam or something? No rounds in chamber racket. But what am I supposed to do? Uh, unload chamber rounds. What's happening here? I'm confused, ladies and gentlemen. The confusion is real. Okay, they came here. Well, how did they see me? How did they come all the way to this spot? Why my shotgun doesn't work? Can you guys explain it to me? I'm holding chamber rounds. Uh, does it work now? I have no idea. The door was open here. I didn't even know that. Um, 
Where's the fire station? Is the fire station somewhere up? Fire station's gotta be somewhere up. Plus, Q, it reloads all the guns. You know what? We're not gonna use shotguns here. Press X to rack guns. Okay, so I'll try to do this. Insert shells and rack it. I didn't know how to rack it by clicking X. Oh, there we go. I clicked X. It did something. Okay, it's doing something. That's cool. Oh, there we go. The department. That's the fire station. That's gotta be the fire department, no? Says department. I'm not sure I'll be able to climb through the fence. Okay, I was able to do it. Without hurting myself too much. The big red building. So we'll need to deal with these zombies first. Let's go this way and this way. Maybe we can even le live here. I don't want to go behind this corner and fight the zombie here because I think those zombies will get to that corner. Okay, we're good. I just need to get this zombie that's going to come to me. And uh, then we can start doing things and stuff. Right? Right? We need to sleep. We also need to sleep. Absolutely. Can you save the game? No, if you die, you die. Whoa, that zombie was insane. Probably because I am too tired and I'm over encumbered. What do I have here that over encumbers me so much? Nothing. Shotgun on my back. Sleep on the ground. Um. Okay, the door is locked, so how do I... There's a zombie here. It's probably gonna come after me. Is it coming after me? Did it see me? Yep, it did see me. Okay, so let's deal with that zombie. I definitely... I have moderate exertion and I'm ridiculously tired. So tired desperately and humanely tired. Okay, dude, that's not good. We need to deal with this guy and we need to find a way to sleep. I cannot sleep on the floor. on the window. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try to open up those windows. I can't even smash those zombies. I'm super tired. Oh, there we go. That worked. Let's hope that not too many schmucks are here. If everything is quiet-ish, I'll try to sleep in one of the rooms. I don't know where though. Where do you sleep before I collapse here? You can, I think there is the second floor, no? There's gotta be a second floor. Go upstairs, there's a bed. Okay, there's a zombie here. I think I gotta deal with it first before I go to sleep though. Or maybe no. Maybe I should. Hey, schmuck. Okay, it's at the bottom then. It's not here. I don't know where that zombie is. Okay, hopefully that zombie won't get behind me. Oh my goodness. head faster. Dude, 
dude, I'm so weak, I can't even stomp the heads. Tired, hungry, everything. Dude, did you see how long it took him to destroy that zombie? You gotta be kidding me. Not gonna be able to sleep on the bench. Probably I could, but would I? Uh, read magazines. I mean, I think I should rest first before I read any magazines. Oh my goodness. I need to get the shotgun. Because I'm going to die here. I got bit, hopefully not too much though. Dude, I can't even shoot! Stop it! Is it bite bitten? Yeah, I'm bitten and bleeding. Nice. Well, whatever. I'm gonna get another character. I'll come back here and I'll get the loot. I'm not leaving like this. Except I, I need to clear this place out first. Before I get the loot from me, right? Okay, I have a pistol. Why can't I shoot with the pistol? It's so stupid! Why my aim is so bad? Because I'm so tired. I need to lock up my character somewhere up in the room so that when I come back here it'll be easy for me to find that character. Okay, the dude is already dead. There's nothing I can do about that, right? My health is almost is gone. I'll need to clear this entire place to get all of my guns. That's it, ladies and gents. 23 hours and killed 22 zombies. That's not that many zombies. Let's start a new character back in Rosewood. Fire officer, same thing again. Uh, let's get our dude, and hopefully my character doesn't wander off too much. Right? Oh, well, where did I spawn? In the police department? Are you kidding me? Have you guys ever spawned in the PD? That's literally where I died. I died just there. Have you guys ever spawned in the PD? Is that like... Rare spawn or a common spawn. I have no idea. I don't even know if I need to drink. Interesting. You have to read books to get better at aiming, of course. A doorknob, wooden scraps. Could I get like some sort of a weapon here real quick at the PD? None of those uh, police officers dropped a baton. Let's get a watch. Let's uh, wear it. I have a holster. Let's wear it. Um, okay, all these zombies have died for some reason. A noted map. What's the point? Uh, okay. Might as well just take it. Or did I already read it? I took it. There's some sort of a key. A security key. I'll get it. So guys, does the BD have any melee weapons? I mean, it's kind of quiet here, so I don't see a reason to rush through this place. Maybe I'll find something. These are the zombies you actually killed. Uh, but where are the other ones? Probably went outside. Oh, we can get now better clothes, correct? Let's 
let's wear let's wear it let's open also the lunch box it's kind of weird that you have to equip it first and then you can eat it How did you see if you don't have a flashlight? I'm a little bit confused. I see what. Okay, we have a fanny pack. Let's wear it. I can probably craft some clothing. Uh, when the clothes increase, you hover and uh, they're going to be green. And they'll say about your defense. Okay. It'll have like plus 20 bite resistance or something. So nothing else is here. I'm still surprised that this place didn't have a single police baton or whatever they're called. Maybe I'll have something useful here. Okay, the shoes are useless. So empty, yep. I mean, we did kill everybody here. Now we need to get a melee weapon to be able to clear that entire fire uh, department. I've already been here. Haven't looted these cells. Would cells have any melee weapons? Doubt it. But I definitely haven't looted these doors yet. Toilet, toilet. Can zombies destroy these uh, cells? Perhaps. Book a pen. Whatever, let's get the pen. Why not? Outside, but no weapons at all. Not a single melee weapon inside of this PD. Uh, wow, I failed climbing over the fence. Not cool. So, do we do something first? Do I get a melee weapon first before I go to the fire department? Because there's no way I'll kill all of them with fists. Like, if there was one... Okay, there's something here that I haven't looted yet. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, as long as it's quiet and there are no zombies... Check the police van. I should. Probably. Just I'd like to loot at least one residential building or something. Just to get like, whatever, a rolling pin perhaps? Or a frying pan. Just something. Anything there? Nope. Uh, how do you loot the car? Anything in the trunk, a screwdriver. That's already better than nothing. Let's attach it to the belt. I'll get that an empty bottle. That's cool to store water. 
So yeah, we'll have a screwdriver to fight some zombies. Motorcycle helmet, nice. Tactical walkie-talkie. Do I need this? I'm gonna get it. Log wrench. Is it any good? Oh, you cannot use it as a weapon. Another empty bottle. I want to reassign tab. Tab doesn't do anything, right? Let's go to controls. Uh, oh, that's controller, key binding, and tab I don't think does anything here. So instead of inventory I, I want to set to tab. Okay, it doesn't allow me to do it then. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. Tab is assigned to something else. That's all right. Okay, I'm gonna loot this. It's surprisingly quiet here. We don't see a lot of zombies. Uh, so I can't loot the car, apparently. Because this one is locked, isn't it? Okay, so this one is unlootable either. Break windows to unlock. Yeah, but then you can hot wire the cars. I don't think I have the perks to do it. A sack, tarp, and a wrench, which is a good weapon. A wrench or a screwdriver. I think wrench is also fine. Let's get that wrench. I'll equip the wrench instead of the screwdriver, probably. car. And I cannot unlock this thing. Yikes. There's no way they'll have the keys here. How do you search for keys? Enable search mode. And what do I see with search mode? Is it easier to find keys? I'm not sure I understand how search mode works. No key found. Okay, let's skedaddle. I could probably check the... Check the car and see what's up. Can I check how much fuel we have? Okay, out of gas, it doesn't have any fuel. Anyways. You don't have to sneak walk like that. Walking normally won't attract zombies either. Alrighty. It's not that slower, but okay. So what, will I be able to clean the entire police department with this wrench? That re check all car doors. I mean, I can check the doors, but what's the point of those doors? They don't have any loot. Do they have loot in the doors? I'm confused a little bit. dead. What do you have here? Nothing, just jackets. 
Zoom in while fighting. I did zoom in. Of course. Okay, the door is locked. Okay, so this thing... So yeah, I've unlocked everything. Can I now open up the back here? How do you unlock the, 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 the van here? I don't have a key. Obviously. Oh, glove compartment. Glove box. I didn't know that it's possible to loot the glove box. Okay, cool. That's interesting. Key from the inside in the glove compartment, maybe. Maybe they left the key in the glove compartment, but not here. Trunk is locked. There we go. Unlock the trunk. In the trunk, we found some 9mm box. A first aid kit, but that's... Okay, let's equip it. Maybe we'll find something. Is duct tape useful? Let's get the duct tape. What do we have in the first aid kit? Scissors, bandages... And other things. I'll probably just transfer everything into my inventory. We're gonna get rid of the first aid. Maybe I should have kept that in the container. Not really sure if whatever I've done here was smart or dumb. Probably it was dumb. Okay, there we go. There's the trunk. And another walkie-talkie with an empty bottle. We'll get that empty bottle. So I have a pretty weird, pretty silly melee weapon. A wrench. It'll be difficult to loot that entire police department with it. Dock tape is, is mostly for repairing. Okay. Okay, that thing is locked. That thing is locked as well. Okay, let's load the trunk of this car. From what I've heard, keys spawn around cars. Okay, let's pop open the... Trunk is unlocked. And the... Glove compartment. Uh, Looseville map. Okay. Is it useful? Do I need it? Am I gonna grab it? I think my character already grabbed it. I haven't looted everything here yet, though. The glove compartment. And dash bull driver. What car is this? Okay, let's read the map. So I have the key to this vehicle, ladies and gents. I have the key to the vehicle. I don't have the key to that vehicle, but I have the key to this vehicle. But this vehicle doesn't have any fuel. If I find fuel, I'll be able to bring it and start the car. Mm -hmm. Take the six. I do not smoke here. Condition and yeah, we just out of gas. We just need now fuel. Why don't you screenshot the maps? Uh, why? Do I have food? I have nothing. We need now food and drinks and everything. Okay, that stuff is alright. I wanted to do something. Oh yeah, I wanted to mark this place that there is a car. How do you draw? Is this a car? I don't even see an, a, an icon for the car. Well, I'll just add an exclamation mark here. That's it. I know that there's a car. Sick. Take gas from the other car. With what? With my mouth? I'm going to keep it in my cheeks. In my mouth. And then I'll what? I'll spit it in the car. Okay, 
here now. Let's try to go to the fire department. I guess little by little we'll do something there. Use the bottle, bro. You can use the bottle. And you don't need any hoses to siphon the fuel. First of all, do we even have any fuel in these vehicles? I don't think these vehicles have fuel. And even if I get fuel, there's nothing I'll be able to do right now anyways. Empty. Okay. This car is also empty. All right, so we check all the cars. Have I checked this car? I think this is the only, unless I checked it already. So all of these cars don't have any fuel. And we have nothing. We should go to the fire station for an ax. Inside of the fire station, there's my old character with guns and everything. And I'd like to find a fire ax there, yes. Absolutely, it's just that I have only a wrench and that's it. So. There's that. Okay, what if I drink? I drink more. How does this police station doesn't have a single... How doesn't it have a single... Whatever... Kitchen. What do they eat? Like, I'm a little bit confused. Like, for real, where is their kitchen? They don't have a kitchen here? Apparently they don't. <sighs> Let's try to get the zombies down there then. Okay. Let's try to get those zombies one by one. Trying to aggro them. Or maybe I shouldn't even try to aggro these guys. Those ones don't matter. Let's go around the thing. Okay, what if I go this way? This. Did it have anything useful on it? Uh, Leaf shirt, in any case, doesn't matter. It's kind of quiet. Okay, then let's hop inside. Should I kill them around first? I don't know. You could lure them away. I don't know how to lure, though. That's the point. I'll be able to uh, grow one of those zombies. Okay, they don't want to come after me. That zombie's coming after me. That's good. That is good, ladies and gents. One dude is coming after here. Press Q while sneaking to lure them. Yeah. I mean, I know how to lure them. I just don't know how to lure them away. I mean, I'll gather them and then I'll just die somewhere in the bush because they'll kill me. It's dark right now. Oh, I got lucky. The dude just fell on the ground. 
Perhaps did it drop to something? Firefighter helmet, let's wear it. Firefighter jacket. Military boots. Firefighter pants. Hell yeah, ladies and gents. I am a little bit over encumbered though. What do I have here? Fireman t-shirt, I don't need this. Firefighter pants. I already have those, but they're not equipped. So I'll drop my old pants. That's it. I don't need anything else from this guy. Okay, let's deal with this zombie. Real quick. You can overheat with too many clothes. Yes, you can. Oh, the dude just fell. And stumped the head. Another map. Do I need that map? I'll get it. Shouldn't be that heavy. Okay, that's a lot of zombies outside. Pretty bad at vanilla, so adding mods is not very smart. I barely see what's going on. I'm glad I have the outline on. I already have one watch. Any of these pants are useless, okay. It's a little bit too dark. Okay. Okay, that one zombie just saw me. I'm gonna hide. Oh no, it just climbed over the fence. Climbed over the thing, whatever it climbed over. It's a lot of zombies. It's gonna take us forever and a little bit to deal with all of them. It was just some bad. If I get them one by one, it'll be very, very doable. I think the zombie came from the behind, though. if I should go on the second floor. That's where I died last time. I'm hungry and whatever else. What am I going to do? Where do I... How do I turn on the light here? There we go. That will invite more zombies, but I want to eat something. Let's pop some crackers. And let's eat some mac and cheese. Armor's making you dizzy. Take it if your speed is decreases. It didn't make me dizzy yet. I'm just moist. It's all right. I'm not scared of some moist. Don't eat all fast food. It's not like I'll survive here for 30 days anyways. I'm, I just like want to eat. I haven't eaten in a long time, so eating fast food is fine. I'm not going to be that picky. Okay, we have a lot of canned food, an empty kettle, and lots of other cool things. Okay, so I'll try to eat those things later. I should eat the fresh food first. Yep. Except I don't think I've found any fresh food. How do I turn on the light here? There we go. Let's turn it on. Because we don't want to fight zombies in the darkness now. Let's turn that off. We could just slide it down, I guess. I've never done that, but probably that's an option.
Instant popcorn. I tried cooking instant popcorn once and I just burnt it. Maybe we could sleep here. I gotta probably come down a bit. Okay, we killed one more. That's me, ladies and gentlemen. That's me. That's old me. It's gonna be hard to probably stomp that helmet. Oh no, that's it. I killed my old self, ladies and gentlemen. We have all the loot. Hell yeah. That's epic. Now, we just need to deal with some of the zombies. Okay, they're, they're gonna destroy those doors, won't they? They should open up one of these doors. Okay, that was easier than I expected. Okay, that was easy as well. Okay, now this one. There's gotta be a door that they're banging on. Probably a door downstairs. You know what, the wrench is pretty good. I just don't know how much durability it has left. Whatever, hopefully it has enough durability. There's a zombie downstairs. I'm not sure how to deal with that dude. Stop banging, perhaps? That just a scratch. I had armor. Dude, that armor must have protected me. Please tell me that's just that's just scratching and bleeding. Okay, that's fine. It's nothing but a scratch. Legend gents, nothing but a scratch. Adhesive bandage. Let's just add, use a normal bandage. It's just a scratch on the torso, ladies and gentlemen. Seven percent chance of infection. Maybe we're fine. Legend gents. Maybe we're fine. Let's just hope we're fine. I still haven't found the fire axe. Where do you get it? Okay, we got one. We got two. Okay, as soon as they open the door and you push them, they kind of fall. That's interesting. Patch the wound. I did patch it. I am um, tired and I am in pain. Another screwdriver, brooms. Okay. So where do I get the axe? How do I get in? Killing zombies on the stairs look way easier. I think so. Just push them and you stomp them. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should turn off the light because that'll aggro the zombies. Add the lockers, but where are those lockers? Here. Bottle of disinfectant. Okay, that's cool. Cotton balls might be cool. Add the alcohol wipes, bandages, disinfectant, and cotton balls are cool. Those things are sick. Bunch of painkillers. I think I can pop some painkillers. There we go. And we should sleep soon. Other room. Okay, let's probably rest. I'm thirsty, so let's try to drink some water. 
then let's go upstairs and let's sleep. Beta blocker is better. Uh, okay. Another locker. Okay, so maybe there will be more lockers. I'd rather loot that during the day. Let's try to sleep here. Can I pick this thing up? Okay, I can pick it up. Maybe I'll be able to put it... Uh, here. No, not the walkie-talkie. How do I place the chair? Does it do anything? Am I supposed to place things like this? I'm not sure what's going on. In any case, I'll grab another one of those. Never done that before. It's probably not going to help anyways, but that's at least something. I think zombies can just walk through here. That was stupid. Whatever I've just done here, that was dumb. Yeah, they can just walk through here. Forget it. Just forget about it. Use it when you must face a horde. It will face. A, it will help a lot. Okay, so I'll use those beta blockers one day. Now let's just try to sleep. It's fine. I am moisty, but what do I do when this armor? Is good. Should I use this armor? Shouldn't I use this armor? I don't know. Uh, let's try to sleep on the bed. When will I wake up? I have no idea. Are you sure you want to sleep? Yes. Well, hopefully zombies don't get to me here. That's it. Because I do know they can wander and they can get inside of your building. Okay, so I slept. I'm no longer tired, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. You'll wake up if zombies bang on the door. Okay. That's cool. So there's still my dead body. We're gonna go there and loot that dead body. I don't think I need any breakfast or anything. So this might be our base for a while now. This fire department. Now let's try to get the... Okay. It said as if there's a zombie here, -ish, but I don't see it where. In these lockers? Uh, white fireman shirt, dark fireman shirt, another fireman shirt. Okay, not here. Uh, clothes, things are empty. A lunchbox is cool. Maybe we'll get some food in it. That's for later. I need to probably do something with my torso. Uh, let's remove the bandage. We're gonna try to disinfect the wound. Disinfect with bottle of disinfectant. And now let's try to bandage it. I think I can wash... Uh, okay, I cannot wash my old bandage. Okay, let's try to clean my dirty bandage then. Let's try to drink some water. Have you checked upstairs lockers for bags? I just basically came here, haven't looted everything. Scrap electronics, scrap engine parts. Maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. I have no idea. Garbage. Oh, there we go. We found an axe, ladies and gents. Finally, we have it. Um, let's try to equip it in both hands. Is it very good? Is it okay? Does it have a lot of durability? Condition full. Okay, cool. A wood axe. Is this wood axe better than the fire axe? It says damage is bigger than the fire axe. Is wood axe better? It seems better. Or am I tripping? Shovel is also alright, I guess. Firefighter helmets, pants, ropes, tire pumps, pipe wrenches. Both are decent. Wood axe is okay. 
Okay, then let's just leave it. I mean, it says that it does more damage. More of a tool than a weapon. Oh, because the wood axe is slower than this axe. Okay, I get it. How do I reach this zombie? I cannot get inside of here. The zombie's just permanently stuck down there. How do I get to that place? Doesn't really look like it's possible for me to get to that zombie. I need a firearm. No, I don't. If you upward the road upwards, you can... Uh, if you follow the main road upward, you can find a gas station. It might have a jerry can and you can use the drive car to a brand new... Uh, or a brand new Lamborghini. I've subbed and bell go ding dong. Welcome, Legend Felix. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the tips. And... Uh, yeah, then I guess our next goal is to probably sort this place out properly. This will be like some sort of a mini base. And we're going to go and try to get some fuel. That's going to be our next step. I just need to secure the place uh, from the zombies. Because they'll keep knocking on the door all the time. Just also want to loot this place. And I'm also over encumbered. I haven't seen a single backpack here. I do have my own backpack though from my dead body that I died uh, where I died already once. So I should go there and get my duffel bag. Disable zombie spawning. I'm playing with all vanilla settings and everything to learn the game. I don't really want to play with anything. Here. Nothing useful. Can I turn off the light or is it already off? Let's turn it off. I've been there. So I haven't looted the second floor fully yet. Let's go on the second floor. And in one of these rooms... Okay, so that's where I lost my wrench. Which is a pretty decent wrench. What about... Whatever, we're not going to be using the wrench. We're going to be using an axe anyways now. Okay, let's loot my old body. Try putting the axe on your back quickly. Select it. It reduces the carry weight. Oh, wait, you can put it on the back? Yes, you can. Nice. Nice. There we go. So let's keep it on the back then. Let's try to loot these lockers because I definitely haven't looted all of them. Belt, another lunchbox, another fanny pack. A gas mask. Is it worth it? Maybe. Guess I can always come back here and get that mask. There we go. That's my dead body. My old dead body. Um, let's equip the duffel bag. My funny fanny pack probably didn't have anything anyways. Let's get the keys. Actually, there was not, no keys anyways. There was one key from the security room in the PD, and I already have another one. Let's get the shotgun shells. Ammunition. Flashlight. Rip sheets. Lighter. Matches. I have the shotgun, but is it any useful? I'm super over encumbered, probably. Slight damages because I'm way over encumbered. I'm gonna drop my shotty here. Because I'm very, very over encumbered. I think I'm losing health. There we go. I don't think I'm losing my health anymore. Um... Okay, why do I have shoes? If I'm not gonna wear them, the... 
Okay, I'm gonna keep junk inside of this other locker. Walkie talkie this. I'm still very, very, very over encumbered. maps and I'm still over encumbered what do I get rid of there's nothing to get rid of I have a flashlight that I might use I have bullets and that's it I'm still way way over encumbered duffel bag is heavy if I drop it on the ground um, no, I'm still over encumbered even with the backpack. Wow. How do I pick up just the backpack? How do I take the full backpack with me now? Oh, let's just grab it. And let's equip it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with my inventory. Future items in the duffel bag gets reduced, so flashlights and all the disinfectants, I guess. But I won't be able to use my magazines if they're in the duffel bag if I ever use my pistol. Am I gonna use the pistol? Scissors. I mean, axe is heavy. And that's it. There's nothing else I can do here. It will pull out the mag out of the bag for you. Oh, it will pull out the mag. Then I can drop the mags and the bullets. I have two screwdrivers. I don't need another one. That's it. I'm not over encumbered. I have a lot of maps, which I probably don't need. Let's store these maps here. I have a magazine to read. Okay, I guess we are a bit better. How do these painkillers have 0 0.2 encumbrance? You can always press X to rack a gun if it ever jams. Uh, thanks for the tip. Thank you, thank you. So, hey, I guess we are... We've looted everything. Except my bag is already, like, half full. I should get rid of the things from the bag that I don't need, like this. Fiberglass stuff. Wait, I do have a screwdriver, so I can add it to the shotgun. I've never done that before. Wait, I want to check it out. I have the shotgun here. And I have uh, the fiberglass stock. Let's try to combine them together. Um, remove the upgrade. What kind of upgrade? Sling, equip, unpack, attach. Okay, I cannot do anything from the inventory, and I do have a screwdriver. Fiberglass stocks will only be applicable to the hunting rifles. Oh, all right, then let's forget it. Let's forget all of it. Thanks for the information. Let's get rid of the fiberglass stock. And the bullets. That's it. And the scope. 
I don't need that scope. And I have two screwdrivers. One screwdriver is enough. Get rid of the scope. Yep, I got rid of the scope. We have the flashlight. Might be useful one day. The magazines. I could probably come back and read them here. But hey, we are alive. That's what matters. I can fill up my three empty bottles with water. Let's try to drink some water. I'm always moist. Is that bad? When you're moist, did you have the bulletproof vest? Uh, yeah, I did have it and I did not pick it up. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the reminder. Am I always going to be moist? Okay, you have to eat them like this. So what do we do when I'm moist? Getting bored a little bit. That's what my character said. I have this pork chop fresh. It is uncooked, so I'll have to cook the pork chop. How does one cook that pork chop? Do I need a frying pan? We have a saucepan. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I can just d put it in the oven. Let's just put the pork chop in the oven and let's start it. Okay, it has to heat up. Let's cook the pork chop, ladies and gents. So it is cooking. Little by little, it is cooking. Wait, we can speed up the time. It's cooking a little bit faster. We can speed up the time even faster. Now that it is done before it burns, let's stop it. I should learn the hotkeys to speed up the time. Okay, so it is burning. That means I cannot eat it. Oh, that's it. Burnt pork chop. But how did it burn? Ladies and how did the pork chop burn when I took it off from the oven? It was still warming up in my inventory. There's scary over cooking. So if I cook, I have to take it out and it's still cooking in my inventory. Okay, that's a little bit silly. Okay, whatever. Let's drop it then. Let's stomp it. I would probably eat it, but my character is already bored and he's going to complain about that later. <sighs> uh, then let's try to read a magazine just so that we are not so bored. There we go, I'm no longer bored. How do I just hide this thing? Oh, I just click here. And that's it. Okay, cool. I see it now. You're used to it. Yep. I mean, I would pop it. That zombie. There's no way to kill that zombie. I think it's stuck there forever unless I'm wrong. Turn off the oven. Oh. I'd set this place on fire. So I'd never sprint. Sure. I forgot my... I forgot my oven. The oven's on. I've burned down an entire city once. Because I've forgotten that oven. <laughs> well, I turned off the oven. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the reminder. I would have definitely burned down this fire department. That would have been kind of ironic. Does it look like from a cartoon? Yep. Maybe we are in a cartoon. Uh, let's loot my body because I did have here this bulletproof vest. It's bulletproof vest. It's poggers. What's not poggers though is I'm constantly unpleasantly hot and moist. What do I do? Any tips and tricks? What am I supposed to do with my clothes here? I have this firefighter jacket and the firefighter pants and the firefighter helmet. Maybe I don't need this formal shirt. Let's get rid of the formal shirt. It has high insulation. Yes, it does. But what do I do? Do I get rid of my socks to not get to not be too 
too wet. You have to take off the fireman's jacket and pants both. What if I take off my socks? That's not going to help. Switch log socks to regular socks. I don't think I have other socks. Can you have calluses in this game? You can sacrifice some clothes for more mobility and be less hot. <sighs> I already have nothing basically on me. I am scared to see if I'm infected or not. But again, even if you get an infection, it doesn't mean it's the zombie infection, right? Doesn't affect much if you're sweaty. So I'm just I'm moist though. Police t-shirt. I'm gonna drop that t-shirt here. Well. That's it. Let's drink some water. And I should have now a few bottles of water now. Where are they? I do have three bottles of water. I have three bottles of water. How do I... How do I drop just one bottle of water here? Because it's going to transfer all three. The city just move and you stop. I want to move only two bottles of water. Okay, whatever. I move two. That's it. I want to keep one. Let's go outside now. Wash your clothes. Do I have to wash my clothes? Does it... Is it good? Can they prevent the infection if I wash them? Put water in your inventory. I do have water in the duffel bag. A bottle. Wash your old clothing. Should I wash my clothes? Does it do anything? Oh, auto drinks. If you have the water there, it auto drinks. I didn't know. I like drinking myself though. Let's put it in the inventory. You need to dry them. Congrats, you got zombification. Nah, I didn't get it yet. We don't know anything. But my clothes are dirty. Does that mean it increases the chance of getting zombified? By defense 50, bloody. I mean, it is very bloody. I can get just different fire jacket and that's it. It's already clean. You have a washing machine downstairs. Wash all the clothes down there. I should probably do it. Firefighter pants. Uh, let's just wear this. Look, I'm just gonna get clean pants. And I'll get rid of my old pants. Now I need a firefighter jacket and I'm done. It's gotta be somewhere here-ish. Bloody clothes make you stress. I mean, I have to be on the edge, kinda. Survive the apocalypse, can't relax too much. So maybe it's good that I'm on the edge. If you're lacerated, there's 25% chance of getting the zombie infection. I was scratched though. That wasn't a laceration, that was just a scratch. Maybe we're fine, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope that I do not get an infection. Okay, that zombie will always keep scaring me. A hard hat? Nope. We did get a hammer and an empty gas can. That's cool. How did I miss that before? Hammers are great, I guess. There we go. There's another jacket. Let's... How many of them do we have here? Let's wear one. Get rid of the bloody clothes and that's it. That's it, ladies and gents. I'm no longer bloody. The gas can is cool. You don't have enough skill to use it and you're just wasting your armory. I'm wasting my armory on what? On my pistol? Like I shouldn't be walking with the pistol. Is that what you're saying?
I want to get fuel. It's kind of late, so I'll go to sleep, and then we're going to go outside to get fuel. Maybe we'll kill some zombies around this place. Propane tank, a metal bar. A log wrench. Fire pump. You can press L to check your skill stats. Yep, nothing. Everything's at zero. Yeah, but it's pretty loud. So I shouldn't use any guns at all. I shouldn't just carry that stuff with me. Crowbars are good. Okay. Can I look outside what's going on? Okay. There are a couple of zombies there. Not yet for firearms, unless you know what you're doing in a good environment. Okay, so basically, guns are useless. Is that what you're saying? Guns are good late game, but early game, it's better to use melee weapons because guns are going to be useless. Okay, I kind of get it then. Let's go back. Let's store the loot. And it's 9 o'clock, so I guess we'll sleep till the morning. Let's drop this entire holster with the pistol, probably. Where's the pistol, though? I don't see my pistol anymore. I had it. Wait, I do not have a pistol even with me. The pistol's here on this dude. Yeah, I didn't even get the pistol, ladies and gents, so... Okay. I didn't even have the pistol. did have the bullets though that's it not that encumbered also katana is okay not a big fan it's good damage but mid durability and not repairable and comedically rare okay so do we sleep i think we should sleep there's some milk i'm gonna drink a little bit of milk then we're gonna continue our adventure in the morning. I think canned food lasts for a very long time, so I should keep the canned food. I do know that the electricity will disappear at some point. Around day 30. Might be in 20 days, in 10 days. You'll get sick because of dead bodies in your base. Can you drag them out of here? By you, I literally mean you. Can you come here and get rid of those zombies? Because I got things to do. You can pick up corpses. Grab a corpse. Okay, so we could get rid of them. Okay, so maybe I will get rid of them. Okay, that's buggers. So let's sleep. Till the morning and let's go. Let's get some fuel and let's start the car. You have to read books to survive. Should. I don't have any books yet, though. I don't think I found a single book. So we can loot a school. There's got to be a school somewhere-ish. Also watch TV. I think you have to watch TV at... Oh my goodness, the zombie. At certain times. Is there anything I can do right now? During the night? Shotgun is the best to deal with a horde. You can maybe damage a couple of zombies at the same time, maybe. Okay, I've looted this thing before. So it's still late. I don't have any books to read. I could... Okay, there's a zombie. My lower torso is fine. Maybe I should remove the bandage. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not have an infection. We're not infected. Great right, zombies coming after us. Okay. Okay, I 
I swinged a little bit too early. Okay. We got her. Sheesh. So what do you usually do at this time? Let's say you wake up at 3 a.m. You just go outside now. Like, what do you do? You're using an axe. Yep. Right, maybe you just, like... Wait. Stay and wait, perhaps. Go to school, get some books. Oh, increase your fitness or strength. You can exercise for sure. Um, I forgot how does one exercise. Wait, I'm gonna hop into this room. Do exercise. Yes, 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 you can definitely exercise. Let's say wait 5 a.m. for better visibility. Yep, but how does one exercise? I do not remember. Protection, health, okay. Not here, apparently. Cook, I have nothing to cook. Oh, but you do cooking. Okay, I get it now. Some people cook. Cool, makes sense. It's in the health menu. Oh, exercise, I see. Let's do squats today. It's leg day, ladies and gentlemen. 30 minutes of squats. Come on, baby. Exercise f will fatigue. Uh, exercise fatigue will be felt on legs, reducing movement speed. Burpees. On legs, reducing on everything for 10 minutes. Go and start exercising, homie. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. We did it. So I spent 10 minutes exercising. Thirty minutes. There you go. It's kind of brighter outside. That's it. Uh, excessive exertion. Can barely walk. <laughs> I did it, ladies and gents. I sweated in my police jacket. That's it. I can barely walk. That's it. I can. I can no longer sprint. That's as fast as I can go. I mean, for thirty minutes, I was doing burpees. Like, of course, uh, our dude got tired. But I exercise, is that good? Is that bad? I have no idea. You can rest in chairs and beds to restore stamina. Yeah. I mean, there's some canned food. I have nothing else to eat. So I might as well eat my canned food, my winter supplies. Let's eat them right now. Wait, I don't have a can opener. Probably my other character had one. It's really silly that you cannot open up these cans with, with an axe. Unless you can. You can recover double fast, sleep again. What, what? My dude is just hungry. And I don't have anything to eat. There are a couple of lunch boxes downstairs. I did not have a can opener in my inventory as well. Huh. The dude is made out of steel doing 40 minutes of burpees. Yep. Have you tried the hunting knife? I mean, I have a bread knife. I don't think the bread knife will work on the canned thing. And uh, nope. Well, there's a lunch box somewhere. High exertion. Okay, maybe let's wait. Maybe let's not wait. I need to cook. I'll rest while cooking. Is that not a can opener in the kitchen? Nope. Wait, is that zombie resetting all the time? Is it always a different zombie? There was a lunchbox here-ish? No. Am I tripping? Wood axe. 
rope. No, where's the lunge box? I have seen like a couple of lunge boxes. Bro, where's my food? A bandage is good. I'll take another bandage. Sleeping pills are all right. So I know that I have them here. The lunch box is in the two lockers. Uh, what lockers? Oh, there, there's a lunch box here as well. It's silly that I, I need to equip the lunch box and only then I can open it. Why can't I just open it from there in any case? Let's raspberry shortbread. I'll pop it. Yeah, it's silly. <laughs> it is silly indeed. And then I have to drop that lunchbox. Okay, that's it. I have nothing else. Just ate some random stuff. Oh, it's very foggy outside. Is it because it's morning? Throw the lunchboxes on the floor and you can access them directly. Oh, okay. Thanks for the tips and tricks. Go rest, dude. You're tired and sweaty. It's fine. I'm a machine. First and foremost, my character is a machine. I'm searching for more lunch boxes because I'm pretty sure I had like one more or two more. All oh, the exercise here. Oh, the zombies outside. Okay, do not see me. Do not come after me. Should have brought all of those lunch boxes to the kitchen. Did you choose burglar? Nope. However, I do have a car and keys, except I don't have any fuel, so I'll have to go up to get fuel. Bro, that fog is insane. Yep. I won't see anything. I chose a firefighter. Yep. I can't run, I can't do anything. I'm over encumbered as well. Why do why do I carry here? What am I carrying that I'm so over encumbered? This duffel bag. Why is it not on my back? There we go, that's a bit better. I'm gonna check old character for food. I doubt that he had all oh, dry ramen noodles. He's gonna be unhappy though. Wait, can I cook them? Let's get the wet dry uh, ramen noodles. A water bottle is cool. I'm drowsy. Okay, so we could rest. Perfect. Okay, there's another lunch box. So you said you can drop it on the ground and you can access it directly. Yes. Thanks for the tip. That's an insane tip and trick. Need a cooking pot. What if I pour boiling water in my mouth and I, then I keep my ramen noodles there? Will that work? Plus there's that bullion cube. You can cook ramen noodles. Yup. I'm tired though. <sighs> Excessive exertion can barely walk. Oh my goodness, what a donut. Sleep. that's enough maybe i should probably get an alarm so that i wake up after like an hour or two hours because i did sleep for a while okay use bleach and food okay thanks for these epic tips and tricks saucepan there is a saucepan can I cook with it? I'm gonna assume that I can fill the saucepan. How do I cook ramen noodles in the saucepan? You can set alarms in digital watch and sire. Oh. Non-regular, non-digital watches. Okay. So I have some water. I dropped the water here. And now I have my ramen noodles. Can I combine them together? 
How does it work? Definitely not like that. Definitely doesn't work like this. No, it doesn't work like that then. So how do I do it? I have a saucepan with water and I have dry ramen noodles. We need a cooking pot filled with water first. It is filled with water already. I have it. It is filled with water. Do I have to have both of those things in my inventory before I do anything, perhaps? Confusion is unreal. Or in to disable water drink. Nope, not this. Drop place, nope. Here in the oven. I don't think you can cook ramen in B41. In what? You're kidding me? Check the fridge's freezer. Wait, didn't I check the freezer already? Oh. Ooh, we have a sausage. I didn't even know we can check the freezer. Thanks, something new. Ground beef and sausage. Fresh, uncooked. Let's get that sausage then, at least. So how do I cook the sausage then? Can I boil it? Please tell me it's possible to boil a sausage. And uh, I have a sausage, so what do I do with it? Do I just drop like a sausage in the thing and that's it? I don't need to boil it? Oven maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm just gonna drop that sausage in the oven. Let's go. And that's it? Do I just start it like that? Just put it in the oven and let it cook. Okay, let's cook it. Maybe let's also boil the water at the same time and maybe then I'll be able to add ramen noodles. Okay, let's start the oven. Okay, what are the buttons to speed up the time? Because it's annoying to click the fast forward of four of six. Okay, four of five of six. A four of five. Okay, four. Okay, it is already burning. That said, I think I destroyed my sausage, ladies and gents. Fresh cooked. Can I eat it? I ate half of the sausage and minor pain. I'm pretty sure I just left forearm. Oh, it's the from fatigue. It's all right. No. What happened? Just burned that sausage. I just ate. Be careful with speed up. Probably. Uh, let's turn it off. It's not gonna allow me to put them in the water. Nope. Noodles, uh, clean tray, empty frying pan, six biscuits, six cookies. An oatmeal. Carrots, merits, bread. So you can do a lot of things, but what you cannot cook. Ramen noodles. Noodles. Yeah, apparently you cannot cook ramen noodles. Interesting. Ramen noodles are just gonna stay here. Disinfect your clothes and water. My clothes? Should 
not have exercised. I'm tired and hurt everywhere. Oh my goodness, a zombie. <sighs> I'm confused, like, do I go outside now? But it's safe here, I don't wanna go outside. But I don't have any food and it's getting late again. I mean, it's not that dark yet. I thought it's darker outside. Okay, there are a couple of zombies there. Do I deal with them one by one? That'll be at least something to do before the night. Rib floats can be disinfected. Got some of them. I'll probably lure them on the stairs. It'll be a lot easier to kill them on the stairs now. Okay, there are crowds of zombies there and there. Okay, there are zombies everywhere. I need to deal with them. Do I have like a digital watch? That's just a classic watch. If I get a digital watch, I'll get the digital watch. Classic wrist watch. Okay, more classic watches. Triple kill, yes indeed. Okay, there are more zombies that way. I want to deal with this group first. Is it wise to deal with these zombies? Yes. How did you enable the green light around the zombies? You go here to display and aim outline on any weapon. I saw that in a video from Tips and Tricks. It's very useful. At least this way I know how to when to attack them. It should be default, I guess. Those houses be behind the fence have food. I mean, up there. The house is up here. These ones. I might check them out. Let's lure a couple of zombies. I think there are still too many of them. Like, I could deal maybe with two, three zombies at the same time. But I'm scared to deal with more than that. Have you experienced the helicopter event yet? Nope. I don't think I've ever survived this long. Shouldn't have pushed it. We got it. But that helicopter spawns on day 30, then it has a lot of zombies. That's from what I've known. That's what I know. It happens uh, in a week. Doesn't it happen every 30 days? And why am I in severe pain? Because of exercise fatigue? That's why I'm in severe pain? Double kill. 
this is quite poggers. Use painkillers. Do I have any painkillers? Yes, I do. Let's try to take some pills. I assume it's from exercising. No? Left form. Everything has been exercised to the max. Okay, we have only two more zombies. That should be easy. at all I thought I can sneak attack them apparently I cannot I, mean, I have barely like what maybe 12 14 15 hours in this game I have no idea but the tip and trick that I can give is you have to learn how to fight it's not like I still know how to fight. It takes a lot of practice. But if you've never practiced before, you will die. So that's all I'm saying. To those that have just picked up Project Zomboid, like spend like a few hours just learning how to fight. Or watch a couple of videos how to fight them. Because it's very important and you'll have to fight a lot. And it's not like I'm, I'm not good at fighting. I'm still learning. You got the point. So you get them. And that's it. You hold your right mouse button. You can also hold control, but I like with my right mouse button. And then you just attack them and with space you push them away. And that's about it. Also, at first I didn't even know that you can fight them by looking backwards. So I would always go like this, then I would turn around manually, but you just hold the right mouse button and you can look there. And you can keep walking backwards and fight them. And when you have that green outline turned on, you can just attack them. And when it's on the ground, you can also probably stand on the zombie and they're not going to stand up if you're standing on them. So it's helpful when you fight other zombies. And then just smash their head. That's about it. That's it. That, those are all the tips and tricks that I know after 15 hours of playing the game. Don't underestimate jog bumping. I have no idea what that is. You can look at the distances with right clicking. Yep. You can also look like this. So our next goal is to probably start looting these houses to find more food. Like I have no clue how to get food in this game. I've heard that the build 42 is supposed to bring hunting to this game. So that's buggers. Fighting is pretty good to me. Uh, it's very bad. I mean, I can deal with one or two zombies, but if there there are more, then I'm just dead. People can deal with like probably ten zombies at the same time. Can barely deal with two. Uh, I don't think it's an official term, but basically, when you jog near a zombie, not sprinting, you will bump a zombie and. Done it for a bit. Helps when you're about to get grabbed. Uh, I often get grabbed when, like, let's say I fight that zombie, then I want to turn around and run. Like, they'll start grabbing me. I don't know. I get bit quite often, that's all I know. Get a couple of zombies there. Should have maybe cleared the fire station fully. Okay, let's get these zombies. So to lure them, you can sneak, click Q. And you can whisper, because if you're going to click Q when you're standing, that will aggro many more zombies. Oh, I'm not going to be able to lure them here anyways. Okay, let's climb over the fence by holding E. And let's get the zombies. Okay, here we go. I hear I panicked a bit. Okay, we are all right. 
I have a digital watch? Still do not have a digital watch. Maybe I'm just gonna rest here in one of these buildings. Go towards the other house first. Towards which one? To this one? This one? I don't even know which house is good one. I'm gonna loot all of them. I guess let's check if the door is open. Nope. This house might have an alarm, so I don't want to break the windows. You can lure them if you put an object. Yeah, I've heard some people put alarms. And then they aggro zombies with those alarms. Oh, the windows uh, was open here already. Cool. Let's try to close it. And then let's loot the house. Once you get an axe, it's a lot easier. Fighting without an axe is very, very difficult. Toolbox. Do I need that toolbox? I have no idea. Let's turn off the TV. There's another door here. Perhaps I'll find some... Okay, couldn't close the windows by just clicking. There we go. Let's close them like this. These advantages. What can you do with razors? Are they useless? Should I pick up razors? I've also seen that spears are great. You can use spears to to poke zombies through fences. Pants. Useless. Maybe I shouldn't be sneaking. I feel like I should be sneaking. Eye makeup. Spears are good, but not my kind of tea. Okay. An alarm clock. Thanks. Don't need that, and I'm already hungry again. Maybe I'll find here a bit better backpack. Is duffel bag or a hiking backpack better? There's a gun case. Do I need this gun case? Let's drop it on the ground, and what do we have in the gun case? Uh, MSR 700 rifle. Do I need this? Maybe I'll just get the bullets, but do I need the rifle itself? I feel like it'll be useless. I do not want that rifle. They're very heavy. First, I thought it's a TV in the bathroom. I was like, wait, what? A bottle of disinfectant is very worth it. Lipstick, sheets, an adhesive bandage. We can apply attachments you had with the, uh, you had to the rifle. Yep. Maybe, Th I mean, thanks for the info. Beta blockers. Reduce panic. Okay, let's get that. So we haven't looted the kitchen yet. Let's go downstairs. Let's check the kitchen. Let's see if there's anything useful. Okay, packaged corn, peas, frozen, hot sauce, proce processed cheese. Let's pop everything here beer can I mean thirst and everything are there any debuffs of drinking alcohol here A can opener I did not have it before let's get grab it all the food is coming to the duffel bag plus happiness I mean it gives plus happiness but are there any debuffs if I drink it. P 
HPs. Let's try to get those frozen items and let's try to unfreeze them. I'm still not sure how cooking is done in this game, so let's learn it. Let's try to turn on the oven. Sleepy also a funny thing. You know what? Let's probably pop it. I'll never learn if I don't pop it. That's it. I'm popping it. There we go. Delayed response. Slightly trippy. Okay, so I'm gonna unfreeze this thing. Okay, I'm a little bit tired. How do how do I cook? And as soon as it's not frozen, as soon as it says burning, I eat it. That's it, it's fresh. Now I no longer have to do anything. Packaged corn. I just pop it like this because it's fresh. I don't need to cook it or do I need to cook it? Nimble effects your combat stance. Walking nimble 3 will just barely let you avoid zombie attacks before their animation finishes. Nimble 5 will be roughly equal to the zombie speed. Okay, I didn't get any nimble things, so I guess it's fine. Thanks for the info. Packaged vegetables cannot be cooked. Just eat it when it's not frozen. Okay, cool. Thanks for the info. Understandable. Have a nice day. Let's eat the rest of those things. Maybe I'm eating too much. But I am getting bigger before the apocalypse. So that when I run out of food, I'll have something. It's all strategic. Okay, that's a bit silly to walk in the room like this. I could have been a zombie. How many times have you guys died? To those that have played Project Zombie, when you open the door and there's a zombie and you get bit by that zombie. We died often like this. Okay, that's it. I, I'm no longer exhausted or anything. You know what? Let's just sleep upstairs. I know it's possible to pick up this armchair. And... Uh, why can't I pick it up? Doesn't allow me to pick it up because it's too heavy. But why can't... Uh, no. Tool none. Oh, there we go. Now I'm picking it up. I was clicking it too, too fast. Now, let's try to place it here. Can you rotate the chair? That's the only way you can place it. Wait, what? Why didn't it do anything? What's the point of this chair? I thought that it'll block the zombies. Well, apparently it does not. I always go check in each room slowly and carefully, even really late game. Makes sense. Well, let's sleep. Let's rest, ladies and gents. Why am I resting? Am I sleeping in bed? Was he standing next to that bed? I don't know. The whole population of Looseville sometimes be chilling in random bathrooms. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I guess it's another beautiful day outside. You know, the game it gets a lot more interesting when you get, like, some gear. When you can kill a couple of zombies. Like, sometimes, especially at the very beginning, it happened to me so many times, you just spawn in, let's say, inside of this house. You leave this house and there'll be like five, six zombies chasing you. And that's it. And I just die because I cannot outrun them if I... I mean, you can outrun them, but I'll just keep gathering more and more zombies. I'll create a huge horde and I cannot hide from that horde. And it has happened so many times. Now it feels like it's calmer. It's a lot easier to play now than, than in the beginning of the game. Get rid of this other watch. How many days you're surviving right now? How do I check how many days I've survived? Is there a way to check that? Okay. In the health panel. 
info. Zombies killed 32, survived two days and 19 hours. Hell yeah. Okay, that's locked. So yeah, so the thing that I'd like to learn is how to lose zombies. Because I kind of understand you have to hide behind the corner, then they come behind that corner, but what I don't understand is how do you avoid other zombies? Okay, let's get those into my duffel bag. Perfume, it says junk. Excuse me. Also, are they adding NPCs in the next build? Because I feel like it would be cool to have NPCs in this game. Like some sort of traitors. Feel a little bit less alone. I can hear somebody breaking doors everywhere, but I'm not sure what's... Okay, there's a zombie here then. How do I open the door? Whoa! Whoa, homie! a lot of zombies there. There are mods for NPCs. Oh. I am strong panic. Accuracy severely reduced. Well, I got my beta blockers on me. Uh, beta blockers. Let's take the pill. That's it. That should help me. Slight panic. That's it. I'm no longer panicking. Nobody's behind me. Could I always check your six. Let's try to get them. We will get them. If I do not do anything stupid, I should be able to kill them with this axe, right? Here, I almost got bit. I almost got bit again. And, uh, I could just hop over the fence. But I do want to kill them. Just gotta take things slowly. I was- I did rush there a bit too much, probably. Here, here, almost got chopped up again. Almost bit me again. I don't know how to retreat. Like they're like this, and then when I try to retreat, it's like my character stops for a second, and then they grab me. I'm doing something wrong when I retreat. You did in the tree. That's the jog bump you did in the tree. Remember to jog, uh, jog bump if you're about to be bit. Kind of. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, sometimes when I want to. Run. My character gets too slow. Leather jacket is kind of cool. You can get leather armor with it, from what I've heard. Let's grab the leather things. Might be useful, might be just tripping. Might be just imagining. Maybe. Okay, nobody's here. If you bite the zombies, they do they turn into humans? I have no idea, I never tried. Where are the rest of the zombies? Okay, shotgun shells. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take the ammunition. Can apply leather patches on clothing for more protection with tailoring skills. Okay, that's great. I have no idea, nothing about the skills. I do know that they're very important. You should be watching TV at 12 and other stuff. But I have no idea what any of those things do, so I just... Avoid all of that. Wait, do I have any scissors with me? Yeah, I do have scissors. Can I cut down... The leather jacket? 
keep scissors. Okay. I should have cut down this leather jacket. Am I using scissors though? What level you have on your axe? Where do I check it? Leather jacket and let's try to rip clothing. Am I getting leather pieces from it or no? Okay, leather strips. I did get some leather strips. That's cool. Let's drop some ripped sheets. And canned food. Okay, my thing went down. I had 14 uh, weight units. Now I have only 13. What did... Why did that happen? Did I do something? I don't need that wrench. I'm not going to use it. Let's store the wrench there. It was on my tool belt, so I don't think it was that heavy. The wrench was nice as a... As an extra thing. Your thirst, the hunger. But I'm not... Oh, I'm just thirsty. Okay, cool. I get it. Let's try to drink some water. First of all, I'm going to fill my empty bottle. Quickly wash myself. I'm not sure if it's useful. Like, what happens when I wash myself? Do I have to wash myself even? I feel like yes. When your thirst hunger reaches level two, it reduces one encumbrance. Oh, I see. I was thirsty and now I'm no longer thirsty. Okay, thanks for the info. Bog. Shower time. It's cosmetic. So it doesn't do anything? So then showering is pointless. I thought it prevents infections or something. And it doesn't matter. Bread stale. Okay, we're not going to eat it. Stale bread slices. And peanut butters. Okay, so these things are cool, but they do not spoil. So I guess I should take them in the duffel bag. And I'll bring that stuff home. Did I loot the kitchen? I don't think I have yet. Can opener, don't need that. Saucepan. Steak, rotten. Bunch of beans. And tunas and everything. Let's get all of the food. Do you smell in the game? I don't think so. Chicken fresh. Okay, let's try to cook that chicken because it's going to spoil. Actually, I'm going to take out everything and I'll overeat. I'm hungry now anyways. Okay, let's drop it here. Zombies can just sneak up on me from behind. I'm pretty sure about that. Cooking pot with water. Uh, where's the frozen stuff that I just took out? So it is still uncooked. Wait, I don't get it. Why does it... I go to key bindings, I click... Oh, normal speed F3. Okay, starts from F3, not from F4. Whoops. Oh, there's an oven switch. Okay, so that's it. It's burning then. I can take all of that stuff with me. Because it's dangerous, uncooked, dangerous, uncooked. This thing is burning. Oh, the chicken is only cooked. It says burning. That means I can eat it? Or will I burn my mouth if I eat this thing? I'm going to eat all of it. I'm going to eat that chicken. Yes, I think I asked two questions. Can I eat it? Will it burn and will it burn my mouth? I've gotten yes to all of those. Full to bursting. Couldn't, what does it say? Couldn't manage another bite. 
Solitary bite. Okay, we're not going to eat anything else then. Okay, those things are burning. Let's try to turn the oven off. And now I could pop them before they burn, but it's too late. They'll now be burned. That's it. Fresh cooked. This thing is burnt. We're not eating garbage. And this thing is burnt as well. Okay. Well, we have at least some food. And a water bottle. Water is always going to be useful, so I should always take it. Why can't I take the water bottle with me? Oh, because my probably thing is full. Um, okay. So we should go back to the fire department. And I should turn off the oven. Is it off? Okay, it is off. Check the food and cook one food at a time. Yeah, but... I mean, why would I cook one food at a time? You can cook multiple of them at a time. Why cook it one at a time? Let's say drop your canned stuff back at the pantry. The fire department is very close, so I think I will run back to the fire department. To drop off the, the items. Interesting. Very, very bug. Okay, let's run to the top. And maybe I should store food in the kitchen. I mean, it's kitchen. Okay, there are zombies downstairs, so I need to do something about that. Okay, canned potatoes, and let's drop all the canned foods uh, here. Okay, why didn't they go? Oh, they're going. They're going. Because canned food is very heavy. And now I can store 18 kilos. It's because I am stuffed. Stomach content, health, and strength aided. Because I did eat a lot, so now I can carry more. Oh, no. I can carry 16. The duffel bag carries 18. Whatever. Forget it. Any more food? Nope. Oh, there is the peanut butter that I could store. Uh, where is peanut butter? Let's store the peanut butter. And let's... Store some other random things there. In this locker. Like the bullets. Shotgun shells. I'm gonna store all of my leather strips as well. Straps? Does it say strips or straps? Strips. That's it, I don't have anything else to drop or take. Let's go. Wait, I have this bottle of water and my character was still thirsty. Or maybe it wasn't thirsty, maybe he was hungry. In any case. Let's go downstairs, let's deal with a couple of zombies. Okay, the zombie again tried to scare me. So is there a way to kill the zombie? Behind the stairs. I think you should drop the empty cans onto zombies or trash cans. I'm confused. Is that a thing or is that a troll? Okay, yeah, there are a couple of zombies there. A couple of zombies there. Let's open the door. Oh no, it's the zombies here. Oh well, dude. Stupid zombie. Stupid. It's completely stupid. Wait, I need to mark the houses that I've looted. Maybe I'll go back to those houses and then I'll be able to mark them to see which ones I've looted, which ones I haven't. 
Okay, the trunk had only a sack and that's it. There are keys! I'm gonna take them. Wait, there are, let's say keys, but what if I turn on the search mode? Oh, with the search mode, it shows the keys from here. Okay. Interesting, but hey, let's grab the keys. So I have the keys from this thing? Nope. I don't know what key I've got in there. Chevalier D6. Which one is it? Oh, this one. I have keys to this vehicle. How beautiful. Let's see if we have any fuel here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found a working vehicle. With fuel and everything, so we can start driving it to other cities. I guess, but I still haven't checked the... The school yet, so I think before I go, I need to check the school. I haven't checked the engine yet. One big, yep. I didn't check the engine quality, though. But it was green, so it's fine. 82. Everything's green, so this car is basically perfect. Hella good, yep. Car is bog. I can't check this. Maybe I can hop inside and open the trunk. Yes, I can. Nope. Let's open the trunk. So maybe set to click V when I'm near the car. Oh. Smash the door, vehicle mechanics, enter vehicle and open the door. I see what you mean. Thanks. I mean, you s somebody said about V like many hours ago. Regular tire, metal pipes. And there's nothing else here. Be careful to not hit zombies with the car. Yep. Also, how do we even go to another city? Like, do I need to leave the map here completely? Oh, I've only gotten these pieces here of the map. Wow. How do you go to another city? Where do you drive? How do you do it? I don't know. Do I need to deal with those zombies down there? I don't think so. The map is huge. Yep. I think that's why Project Zomboid is awesome. I think there are a lot of survival games. Uh, and some of them want it to be like Project Zomboid. I think why, why Project Zomboid is cool is because of the... Because of the cities, right? It has awesome cities. It has a lot of different buildings. The environment is cool. I think a lot of survival games come out and they have like pretty lame environments. And not enough zombies. This game has a lot of zombies and nice environment. I'd say that's why Project Zomboid is popping. That's why people like Project Zomboid. It's interesting to loot buildings. It feels like an actual apocalypse. I don't know. Hello? Okay, the zombie just saw me. Stupid zombie. Okay, just died from one shot. I like the gimmick as you're as in you're just the average Joe in the apocalypse. Yep. Just the mechanic of uh, walking around and trying to to open windows to see if windows are open. Some houses will have alarms. I'm not really sure if those houses are random or not, but some houses will have alarms. Combat is very tricky for beginners. I'd still say I'm very bad at combat, but once you get a bit a bit better, it's more interesting, but it's very tricky for beginners. It's very different from every other game that I've played. Okay, just like entering a building is fun. Like you have to find a way to enter it. Not just like the door is open, like sometimes the door is open. All I'm trying to say here is I see the appeal to Project Zomboid. Uh, paper bags and other things. We have more canned food. 
get all the canned food you can find. That's how we survive. Uh, orange plate, kettles, muffin trays. I'm pretty sure in this game it is possible to get muffins. Wait, let's go to cooking and let's craft muffin. There we go, six muffins. I have muffin baking tray, but how do I get a muffin? Prep muffins. I need an empty bowl. I need a muffin tray. I need a fork. I need two eggs. I need butter and I need milk and I need brown sugar and I need flour. Yikes. And then I'll be able to get muffins. Cooked muffins. Zomboid or seven days to die? I like both. I like seven days to die because... The, the whole shtick of seven days to die is... Zombies attack you every, like, whatever, seven days. You can set them to attack every, like, day, every night. And not a lot of zombie games have that. So there is a purpose to looting. There is purpose to building bases. So I also like seven days to die. However, the development of seven days to die seems very slow. For some reason, I don't know. There's some negativity surrounding Seven Days to Die for some reason. And another adhesive advantage. I'll steal it. I'll take it. So you know what? Actually looting residential buildings is worth it when you have like some sort of a nice melee weapon. Without a melee weapon, it's useless to come here because you're just gonna get food and you have nowhere to store that food anyways. When I started playing Project Zomboid, I'd always loot these residential buildings first. I'd always assume that they're worth it and then I'd just die. Anything in the freezer, drowsy. So we could rasticate eight, so maybe I'm gonna sleep here. Ice cream, foggers, peas, foggers, ham. Fresh frozen. How do I unfreeze the ham? I'm gonna pop it. It's gonna spoil anyways. Might as well cook it, right? Slower than last on Earth, or is this development faster? I would say low key the same ish. The same, the seven days to die and last in Earth survival development is like low key the same. Kinda. Also, the performance of seven days to die, it always lags. You have to have a supercomputer for it not to lag. Okay, there's the food. Let's pop the whole ham thing here. Old bursting buggers. So we've looted this house as well. Let's probably sleep somewhere. Saucepan with water. Wait, is it dirty water? Stale uncooked. Saucepan with pasta. Stale pasta. Okay. I see. Can I do anything with peas? Can you make like a pea soup, for example? Not like pea, pea soup, like the... Pea, but like pea as vegetable soup. Uh, canned peas. Oh, you can just open that stuff and that's it. Soup. Bowl of soup. Make full of... Uh, prep soup. I need cooking water with items to add. How many items can I add? Okay, that's a lot of items. Oh, there are peas, so I can add peas to the soup. Okay, I'm interested how cooking works. So I'm gonna pour everything on the ground. I'm 
I'm gonna fill the saucepan with the uh, with water. Also, ice cream can be eaten fresh and also frozen. It makes sense. Thank you. One thing I don't like is how big of a difference Seven Days to Die is on PC versus a console. I've heard some rumors that Seven Days to Die is coming out to a console again, but uh, they'll re-release the game and there will be a different version on console, so you'll have to rebuy Seven Days to Die again. But again, don't take my word for it. That's just some things that I've heard. I might be mistaken. I've just seen a video quite recently. Maybe a month ago or something. I don't know. Uh, we have saucepan with water. Base item. Okay, so we have to have cooking pot. Okay, let's try to drop the thing here. I don't really need to eat. I just want to figure out how cooking works because I haven't cooked a lot. I think it's already cooking, right? Yeah, I'm gonna assume that the water is boiling. That's great. So do I need to take this pot on the ground then? And how do I... Oh, I don't have any peas, obviously. Somewhat of a donut, aren't I? Let's get the peas. Let's try to unfreeze them. Um, it's 12 a.m. And yet here I am. Okay, we got some peas. Let's try to turn off the oven. I'm pretty sure the water is not boiling then anymore. No, it is still boiling. Well, I got boiling water in my inventory. Peas fresh. Why can't I prep soup? There is a way to add peas, unless I have to scroll all the way at the bottom to see those peas. There go, there are peas. I have it. Base item. Cooking pot with water. I have it. And why can't I add peas? For some reason, I'm confused. Maybe I need to add that... Water here. Very confused. Have you seen my comment about playing Silent Hill? I have... N I've heard of Silent Hill, but I've never played Silent Hill. And I cannot add peas. You don't have a cooking pot, right? You have a saucepan. Oh. I see. It's got to be a cooking pot, not a saucepan. That's it. Mission abort. Let's pop my peas and let's go to sleep. Still haven't found a single book. Would be cool to get a book at somewhere here and read it before bed. It is what it is. It is what it is. Where is the bedroom? Okay, there is the bedroom. Let's try to sleep. Wait, before I sleep, maybe let's try to read a book. I did bring a magazine with me. Let's try to read this bad boy. And now let's try to sleep. Eating peas will make you gassy. That's fine. I'll run faster. Am I right? <laughs> Smash like, smash subscribe for more. I wouldn't even call that a joke. Just a lame sentence. 
That's it. Okay, it's 8 a.m. outside. Let's go. Wait, what about my duffel bag? Okay, so it's empty. I didn't get anything inside of this building, apparently. Nothing useful. Ice cream. It does have a lot of calories, but I'm not hungry. So I'll just leave it. Okay, so let's now mark the houses that I've looted. I have looted... Uh, how do I... I've looted this house. I'm pretty sure I've looted this house and this house. Probably. Yeah, I've looted these three houses. I also know you need a generator. That's what I know. You'll need a generator for things and stuff. Garden saw might be useful. I should get it. Correct? I had my fanny pack. I no longer have my fanny pack. What happened? Why is it not equipped? I'm pretty sure I still have it here. Oh, it's already equipped in the front. But why don't I see my fanny pack here? Can somebody explain that to me? Is it because it's under my jacket? No way. I'm confused. What happened with my fanny pack? Uh, where? On the front. Oh, there we go. Now I have it on the front. Okay, cool. And can I store the garden saw in my fanny pack? <laughs> I can't. It fits. The garden saw fits perfectly in my fanny pack. Hell yeah. It's not equipped. I mean, it said front. I thought it was equipped. Propane torch. Is it any good? Do I need this? Just one encumbrance. I'll, I think I already have one propane torch uh, there, though. Welding rods. I don't think I need them. Box of nails. Let's grab some nails, though. And duct tape is always duct tape. You always need duct tape. I have a saw. Not sure if I have one. Let's get one. It's surprising how quiet it is. I'm telling you, when I, whenever I spawn here uh, with a fresh spawn, there are like zombies everywhere. There's already a mini horde chasing me when I just spawn. Confusion is real. Okay, what if I open this up? There's a generator, ladies and gentlemen. That's good. Right? Another empty gas can. And planks are great as well. They will encumber me though for a bit. But I think planks are good. Let's try to grab the generator. Um, I'm gonna be very over encumbered. Am I losing health? Okay, I am losing health with the generator. Slight damage because I'm breaking my back. My spinal. <laughs> Let's drop the generator. It's not that heavy, heavy. I could drop the duffel bag on the ground. I don't think zombies should come here and steal it. Uh, let's grab the... The generator. We can jump over a tall fence with the generator. Probably. I think I've seen somebody try and they're not going to be able to jump. Oh yeah, you just leave the generator there. So what do I do? How do I bring the generator back to the fire department? Do I just break the fence? Use the car for the generator. So wait, I'm gonna get here with the car and I'll just pick up the generator from the front, maybe. I could use the truck. Maybe that's what I should do then. Okay, let's try to take the generator. Let's put it in the front. I remember I jumped with the fridge. Why not a generator? I don't know. I'm gonna drop the generator here. 
Still surprised that there are no zombies. What's going on? It's it's very crazy. I'm telling you, the game is more difficult at the beginning than later on. At least for me. Feels like it. You could put it in your inventory and try to jump it. It was in my inventory. But as soon as he jumps over the fence, he drops that thing from the inventory. Let's equip the duffel bag. Okay, I did not equip it, did I? And I'm losing health right now because I am encumbered. Okay, let's equip it on my back. There we go, that's a lot better. Are there some wire cutters, maybe? There's the propane torch. Maybe I can use the propane torch to... to open some stuff. Okay, there are a couple of zombies. There's the truck. I spawned around here with my first ever character. I'm like under 10 encumbrance. Oh, maybe I was a bit too encumbered to jump with the generator in the pocket. I don't think I can even bring the car here. Bruh. How do I bring the car from the fire department? The fire department is here, so I'll need to drive like this. Okay. First of all, bring the duffel back to the fire department and then go around the fence and bring it there. But I see what you mean, but I dropped the duffel bag on the ground and it didn't work. I know what I'll do though. I'm gonna leave the stuff from the duffel bag in the fire department. I'm gonna grab a can a, an empty canister. I'm gonna hop in the car. Go for a drive, I guess. Okay, there are some zombies here. How did they get here? Did they just spawn? Bruh. I clear this place. Can they spawn back in the building, though? Okay, let's just aggro these zombies one by one. I just heard a dog bark somewhere. Okay, okay, some more zombies are coming through the fence. How, why, how did they see me? I don't have a slightest clue. And how much longer will this axe last? Okay, it's still in very good condition. Okay, so how do these zombies see me even? Where are they coming from? The dog did it. Did you loot the police station because I came? Yes, I did loot the police station. Hello. Okay, we have a few more schmucks coming after us. We should be able to get them. Okay, I got both of them. Shut your mouths. Make a spear. Craft a spear from the wood we could. But I guess the, the axe is good for now. We have two zombies coming after us. The station got infested with zombies. I mean, we did loot the full station twice. Because I died with one character and then I came back. I'm gonna save the axe. I just stomped the head. There's only one more zombie left near that fire department. Okay, two more zombies. I do like the axe. So far my favorite weapon that I've had. I did not have a katana. 
I had some pistols, which are absolute garbage. Shotguns are alright if you stay in one spot. But pistols were horrible. Okay, that's it, they're dead. And that's it. There was a tiny horde here behind the fence, so maybe they just hopped over the fence through the night. Maybe. Probably, okay, my character is uh, hungry again. <sighs> well, hopefully they did not respawn here. Okay, they haven't respawned yet. There is a zombie behind these stairs, though. I have no idea how to kill that zombie behind the stairs. Okay, let's drop off the food if I have any food. Uh, can donut. Uh, more food. I need a firearm. I do have a firearm, but it's it's pretty bad. I need books to read the to learn more about firearms because the dude misses like crazy. It's actually easier to use an axe than a gun. How did the zombies get here? I have no idea. These zombies, they were here. But I deal with them. Okay, I have a locker with loot that I'll need to bring one day with me, so I'm just gonna drop the planks. Uh, wrench, duct tapes. Oh, that's also food here. I'm gonna eat that food right now. Best way to increase accuracy with no firearm skill is to stand still. Plus no panic. It's to stand still. Okay. So wait, if I get a gun now and I stand still, I'll be fine? Or do I need to shoot zombies for the skill to go up? Search for survivor houses. They have fenced windows. And inside they have good loot of all kinds. Makes sense. Dirty leather strips. Excuse me. Empty beer can. Let's drop it on the ground. And I got this garden saw that I can drop here as well. Fog. So let's sit in the car and let's see what we'll be able to do. Look at my face, you can tell we're excited for this game. I mean, I am excited. Like, I don't have to be look cool all the time. Like, I'm interested. Gotta hop back in the car then. And I'm probably gonna drive through here. We could drive through here as well. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go somewhere where I haven't explored yet though. There, there's that police station. We have looted it. Okay, let's hop in the car. Let's start it. Uh, we have fuel. Ladies and gentlemen, we're driving our car. I have no idea what happened. The car just didn't stop. Hopefully, I didn't damage myself. Uh, very minor damage. Okay, so I did hurt myself a bit. Just a bit, though. Can I open the map in the car? Yes.
house perhaps real quick. I almost damaged the brand new car. It's so stupid. I think I broke the windshield. Let's die schmuck. Diamond rings. Necklaces. That gave us thing. Yeah, I definitely lost some health when I hit that tree. For sure. Okay, there's a pot. That's okay, I can hear... As if a zombie's next to me, but I don't see anything. So maybe there's nobody here. The windshield is still fine, but it's a bit damaged. Formal shirt. My character is thirsty. I might as well just drink some water real quick. So wait, oh, I no longer have the water in my inventory. Let's try to fill my empty bottle then. And then I'll be able to drink automatically. Milk fresh remoulade, whatever that is. Meat patty. Let's pop some meat. While we're at it. And while it'll be cooking, I'm gonna loot this house real quick. The oven's on. Okay, the bookshelf. Premium technologies radio. Is it useful? I'm gonna grab it. It has premium in it, so maybe it's useful. Let's get the book to read. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else here inside of this building, so let's just grab the food. We did get a cooking pot. I don't think I have a cooking pot anywhere else. There, there's a cooking pot with water. I'm going to pour the cooking pot on the ground, and I'll take the cooking pot in the duffel bag. Okay, where did I drop that cooking pot? Is it in my inventory? Yes, it is. Drop it here and meet Patty. Okay, it's still cooking. Fresh uncooked. What do you mean fresh uncooked and hunger? I can um, apparently I can eat uncooked patty. Okay, now we can eat all of it. Now we can make soup. Yep, now I'll be able to make soup with that. Except I don't have any peas and I don't have any veggies to make that soup. Maybe we can make soup with meat. I don't know, maybe we can add a lot of things to that soup. I have no idea. But before I go outside, let's get that axe. Okay, that's a mini horde there. I think in law enforcement's car radios, there's also automated emergency broadcast system radio frequency. sure why do I need that, but okay. I did not get that empty gas canister. Let's take it. There are two of them. Okay, let's drop those empty gas canisters in the vehicle. I should have taken those canisters with me. Okay, let's drop those and let's... Where is it? There we go. There are the empty canisters. Let's drop them in the car. In the trunk. It's like for weather in for knowing when the heli will arrive. But that's for early game. Okay. Confusion. More zombies that way, that way. Bunch of other buildings to loot. 
Do we need to even loot these basic buildings? Maybe not. We're not that hungry. I'm sorry. What did I do? Did I break the car by hitting it? Did I run out of electricity? What happened? Car battery's fine. Everything's fine. Why didn't it work? Condition 93%. Everything's fine. So why on earth are you just... Maybe I just need... Take a few turns to start. There we go. It started. Because the car is fine. Okay, will these zombies come after me? Do I need to kill all of them? I feel like that'll be the smarter thing to do than just, like, creating a horde. And they're not coming after me. They're not coming after cars for some reason. Maybe that's stupid. Maybe I shouldn't have left the thing. I feel like that was stupid. Nice, plus one, nice. As long as there are no slugs behind me, it should be fine. Okay, no slugs that way. Okay, so maybe it was a good idea to stop and kill them. to go and get the generator and then I'll bring it to the fire department okay another car so do I deal with those zombies or will they come after me I'm not sure I feel like I gotta kill them I feel like I have to kill them Otherwise, there will be too many of them and I won't be able to deal with all of them. Maybe that's a bad stride. Maybe that's the only stride that I know. Okay, do they have anything useful? Nope. If you're asleep, that'll reduce the damage. Uh, true. There are only a couple of zombies there, though. Kind of want to get them. Okay, one of them is coming after me. Cool. I think I should be able to deal with them and grab the generator, and then I can go back to the fire station. Project Zomboid is amazing, says Iker. Yes, indeed. It is amazing. Stupid zombie. Some people grab all of the digital watches to increase their electronics experience. Okay, I got three, four of them at the same time. That's not cool. It's like literally a mini horde coming after us. At least we don't have any more zombies here. So as long as there are no zombies behind us, we should be good. Unless I make a mistake. Hey, that dude is alive. And Dila, thanks for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. I wasn't even sure that you could pause the game. Could have just died. But hey, welcome. Hello. Hope 
hopefully everything is popping well there on your side. Are you planning to get mods or just quality of life mods to make it a bit better? Uh, perhaps later on. I'm still very new to Project Zomboid. Once I know what this game has to offer, maybe then I'll look into mods. Because right now... Getting mods would be pointless as I'm not sure what this game... What I can do with this game anyways. What are my options? Okay, let's hop back in the car. And I have increased my axes. Is that good? Oh, XP boost. I just get more XP, but do I do more damage when I level up my axe? Yeah, there's just one schmuck. I don't care about that, dude. Stupid sign. Generator has got to be stupid zombies. Okay, okay that, that was a mistake. I want to hit them with the back of the car because I think that's legal. I am damaging the car, but just a little bit. Some damage won't hurt me again. Okay, more zombies are coming through now. Yikes. That's a lot of them. How do I grab the generator? I need to kill them all. Stupid sign! I did not see it. Get the generator and run, but there are too many zombies now already around the generator. I kind of want to turn around. Did I want to damage the vehicle too much? I mean, it looks like I damaged it a lot, though. Wait, it is running. I'm gonna kill the engine. Check the car real quick. Uh, 53%, it was like 80 something at least. You're just attracting more Z's. Yep. Uh, that's about right. That's not what I wanted to do, but now I'll try to kill all of them. I'm still tired. Let's drop my duffel bag in the car. I don't see the duffel bag. Oh, because I am looking at the duffel bag. What an idiot. Okay, duffel bag done. So I could hop over these fences. Okay. Let's just go through the fence. Oh my god, Sark, that was so smart! Okay, was it smart actually or no? Oh no, how did they get here? How? Whoa! Okay, now I gotta kill them. I absolutely gotta kill them then. Because I won't be able to run with the generator that fast. Okay, almost died there. Okay, let's hop over the fence. 
more zombies there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's not what I signed up for. I'm very tired. Awareness severely reduced. That's not cool. My generator is all the way there. I wasn't as tired. I could do something. Okay, he's not from behind. Extreme panic. Everything is bad. Should be fine though. Zombies are coming after me. Um, the generator is going to kill me. That's all I'm saying. My awareness is so low. There are zombies like literally behind me and I don't even see them. gone to school yet? Nope, I've just found the fire department, the police station, and I haven't been at the, the school yet. We could fight them if I wasn't tired and panicking this hard. I need those beta blockers. back to the fire department and rest that said I'm doing it and then I'll come back and I'll get that generator with the car plus I am moderately exerted fight fight I am too tired ridiculously tired I can't even fight those zombies anymore even with the axe like it takes like four or five hits when they're on the ground to kill them just too much now we need to rest gonna rest up then we can hop over the fence we can kill those zombies because there are not that many of them we have separated them into smaller clumps it should be pretty easy to kill them it's just that my character is too weak right now the zombie still there let's eat some food and let's sleep one-handed weapons consume less energy, maybe. But I do like this axe. I don't think I have any better one-handed weapons anyways besides a hammer. I'm not sure how I like the hammer, though. Can't be. Of course, I cannot eat anything because I left my duffel bag and the duffel bag had... Well, I can eat peanut butter. And yeah, I left the can opener in the duffel bag.
After some time, the water will disappear. So we'll have to do something with water. Take a little sleep in bed. The problem with these is they're they're banging on doors and they're attracting even more. Nope. Oh, well, I'm still sleeping. Nice. Another beautiful morning, homies. We did it. We survived. Now I'm strong. Everything's great. Just need to drink some water again before I go anywhere. And that's it. Let's deal with the other zombies. Name the zombie uh, under stairs Gooper. <laughs> zombie is a Gooper. I got a jump scare, but yet my character didn't even see that zombie. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's deal with... With those zombies and let's get the generator. Now it should be easy with this fire axe and when we're not tired these zombies will be destroyed. How do I get another fire axe though? How do I repair it because I don't want it to break? It's the only good melee weapon that I got. Okay, hello. As soon as they fall on the ground you can What are the screams? What are those screams? Can somebody explain that to me? Is that normal? I'm not sure. Okay, there's the generator. Have you installed mods? No. Nope. Oh, so you cannot have the generator with you and the axe at the same time. Now that's ridiculous. Also, the screams are meta events. They're just RNG events that can attract lure zombies to places. Okay. I've heard a gunshot once and I thought there was a survivor, but apparently it was just a random gunshot to attract zombies. Okay. I see. I do not remember where I parked my car. I kind of maybe remember now, okay. So they think it's going to be difficult to get to that place. Because there are zombies. So hey, I'm going to go up here. The zombies did not see me. I'm going to deal with these guys though. Let's deal with this crawler. And let's deal with this tiny clump of zombies and then I can go to my car. Okay, I think that zombie just saw me. So we can just step back. Can you meet with other survivors? If you play on, on multiplayer servers, I guess. Here, I don't think there are any NPCs, but some of you said that you can get mods with NPCs. So there's that. So if there are any mods, I'll be searching for those mods. Because I think NPCs in survival games are pretty cool. Okay. Let's aggro this zombie. It's all about not being too fast. Suburb survivors add NPCs, maybe. They're a bit jank, but works. Well, maybe one day we'll get NPCs in vanilla. Uh, Project Zomboid. Okay, let's deal with this crawler, then I can grab the generator. There we go. There's also one more zombie there, but that's alright. I'll put down the generator. 
What would you rate this game from 1 to 10? I mean, there are still lots of things for me to learn, but... It's a very good survival game. The possibilities are endless. Okay, the zombie's dead. But Sark, you didn't answer my question. As I said, I never like giving numbers to games. I imagine last in Earth suburbs looking at this in the future. All right, homie, you're dreaming. Okay, there are zombies over there. Okay, there are a few zombies over there. Could maybe walk around, but I'll probably just go and kill them. Because my car is just down there. Maybe I don't have to go and kill them. They haven't seen me yet. There's a barricaded house northeast. Okay, that zombie saw me. No, yes. I don't see that zombie anymore because of trees. Okay, I don't think that zombie's following me anymore. Okay, so let's go around it. And let's go through the bush. Okay, that zombie was on the window. Yikes, I got scared a bit. Let's try to walk to here. Okay, you were just able to vault to this fence. I wasn't sure it's possible. There, there's our car, ladies and gents. We did it! We got the generator, almost. We're not there yet. drop the generator here there we go ladies and gentlemen we have finally gotten the generator it was pretty heavy very heavy let's up in the car okay the car doesn't want to start a huge win i'm not really sure what i can do with this generator oh when you start the car the the lure zombies okay not want to hit these zombies. Okay, let's not drive too fast. Oh, we are back at our base, ladies and gents. There we go. Let's take up three parking spots. So I don't think these zombies are going to come here. If they come, we will kill them. Let's take the generator now and let's put it... Where do I even have to put it? I'm, I'm carrying the generator right now with me. I'm going to put it inside of the fire station. Not sure if I need it, but let's keep it. Park away from the apartment so it doesn't bring zombies. Let's put the generator here for now. I don't think it really matters. If I'll ever decide to travel somewhere else, I'll probably get that generator with me. I'm just not sure why do I even need it. I've never used it before. But it doesn't really look like there are any zombies here. How many zombies we've killed? Um, 75 zombies, ladies and gentlemen. We've survived for four days and 22 hours. Kind of sick if you ask me. I am a little bit moist all the time, but I'm not sure what it means. I mean, I'm not sure about the debuffs. Been moist all this time. The dome started inside. Okay. Thanks for the tip. I'm gonna equip the duffel bag on my back. And my character is a little bit hungry. And I'm over encumbered for some reason. Oh, because I didn't equip it on the back. Because I walked. Uh, and... The animation didn't finish. Okay, let's try to get some food. 
Yeah, these zombies aren't really coming here. And if they come, that's all right. I'll get them. So, is there a way to repair your axe? That's like kind of the main question that I have right now. My axe is going to break one day-ish. Repair axe. Okay, two wood. Wood glue. I do not have wood glue. Duct tape, just glue. Potential repairs, 10% chances of success, 2% adhesive tape. Okay. That's it. So I see. How many times you can repair it though? Can you repair it infinitely? Wood glue and adhesive tape. I do have some... But it's just adhesive tape. Oh, there's duct tape. I do have duct tape with me. And those are just potential repairs. And read carpentry books. Okay, so we gotta read carpentry books. So the next goal is... Getting fuel for the generator. So we have those fuel canisters. How many of them I have? One, two, I don't know. We need some fuel. Then we need to go to school there to get a bunch of books. We haven't looted the school yet. That's what I guess we can do. I'm surprised that we survived this long. Uh, let's get some food. Let's open it and let's pop some vegetable soup. Okay, can reduce some hunger. This glue, uh, the school probably have glue too, yep. You can repair as long as you want, but it becomes more fragile. Oh. So, is it better to repair it? What does it say? Tummy is tummy full. Goodness making its way through your system. Okay, cool. So, I forgot what I wanted to say. Absolutely. So yeah, let's say this axe. Should I repair it when it's absolutely broken or should I repair it now? Will it prolong its lifespan? Should you repair it when they're absolutely broken or should you repair them when they're almost full? What's better? My carpentry is at zero. I do know you can probably disassemble the benches with this and that'll increase your carpentry. Carpentry. I think the more broken it is, the more resources it costs. Uh, perhaps. I don't want to break this axe though. You can start farming. Farming like growing plants. Excuse me, sir. I do have only two dock tip and that's it. Maybe let's keep it for something else then. I don't need to use it. I usually let it break, lol. Well, maybe we'll find another axe. It can't be like we only got one axe here, right? So I think here we're gonna be buckling up, ladies and gents. Time for us to wrap it up. I'm surprised that we survived this long. I've learned some new things. I hear Ellie. It's like day four, how on earth? The helicopter is here. There goes my buckling. Oh, it's gonna attract a lot of zombies, won't it? Luckily, I have a car. Um, where is the heli? Why is it doing this? I'm like, what? Really? On day... Five? Well, what happened? The game closed? I do not see the heli. Zeds will visit you soon. So I'll need to get in the car and get out of here, probably. They say you won't see it. Get in the car. Okay, I see a zombie. Oh no. Let's hop in. Let's start the engine. 
attention, but let's get out of here. It's not really there. Okay, so it's just making noise around me. Oh, whoa! Look at all of these zombies! Oh, look at the crops. I just destroyed that tree. Okay. Look at all of these zombies being attracted from the stupid hell event. for a drive to move these zombies away from the base. Now you're outside, Heli will follow you. Will it follow me for a long time? I mean, the zombies are going that way. That's good, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a we guy. Do I have to follow the heli? So that was the heli event, but is it... Was it important? They're attracted by the heli, not you. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it, but the, the heli's attracted to me. The heli's no longer here. See how many zombies the heli has attracted. The hell is coming back! It feels like the hell is coming back. How long does the heli stay outside, get inside a house? But the, there are too many zombies, I can't do anything now. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna break your transmission my car. I mean, I try not to hit too many zombies. It was in pretty good condition. What happened? Why is there is a chopper following you? I don't have a slightest clue. I'm just trying to lure the chopper away from the base so that it doesn't spawn too many zombies. So it doesn't lure too many zombies. Oh my goodness, that's not what I signed up for. Sort of a checkpoint. Where does this checkpoint lead me to? What do we have here? Something. This is prison. Is prison worth looting? And how long does the helicopter follow me? Run, I am running. I'm running with the car. back to the station.
But there are too many zombies. If I go to the station and zombies start coming in, what am I gonna do? Look at all these schmucks! Oh lord, what is this? That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's all I have to say. I'm not sure I can get back to the base. There are too many zombies following me. I'm not sure what I'm doing. There are too many zombies around the, the base. There was one uh, fire hydrant and I had to hit it. Look at this, all of these zombies are coming. Does the car make noise? I'm parked. Should just remove the glass from here before I jump through. Okay. outside I got back here it did not hurt myself I guess very minor damage it's probably because I hit 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 the trees with the car you can destroy the staircase using the sledgehammer and break the windows and use ropes that's the strat but I think zombies can also destroy the ropes and then it'll be hard to go back up but then you can build the stair to stairs to go back up so that was the hell event I assume was it any good was the what's the point of the hell event? I have no idea. These events are like spawners. Okay, so that event was just here to spawn more zombies. I guess so. Well, in any case, we have survived, ladies and gents. Time for us to buckle up. We'll sleep and then in the morning we'll see what's up what's outside maybe there will be lots of zombies we'll have to kill a lot of those schmucks so that's it take care everybody thanks for joining uh, see you tomorrow maybe with another live stream maybe we'll play some more project zombie we'll just continue here what happened we'll just continue here in this world we'll see we'll try to go to another uh, to another city or something i don't know so thanks for being here see you tomorrow everybody Take care and uh, peace out, everybody. Take care, take care. Shout out to all of you. And peace out. Take care, ladies and gents. Thanks for all the tips and tricks. And peace out.